Well, I think it does, um, it does keep the, oh wait, I forgot. Game capture, please. It does keep like everything that, uh, uh, that I did in the demo. Good. That was in the demo, was it? I don't remember that being in the demo. Yeah, I think everything is the same as uh, when I played in the demo. Hold on. So, hold on, moment of truth. Are the save files... Oh, let me see. Still there. Uh... And my controller is not working. Please. Oh, there we go. Load. Nope. Alright, save files are gone. That's fine. I don't mind restarting. I don't mind restarting. I love this game.
Alright, I think this was pretty much the same as the demo, but... Yeah. For goodness sake, there goes my last match. Oh, I'm so tired of this place. Wash my sheets, Elisa. Sweep my floors, Elisa. Elisa, Elisa, Elisa. Well, I'd show them. I'd, I'd make them scrub my pots and pans. My shoes, even. Have them wipe down all my windows. Every last one. And every last one. Clean out my hearth and fetch fetch me some water. Better yet, I ha I'd have them running around calling me Miss Elisa all day. Uh, if only I were rich. All the steak I could ever want. All the shiny dresses. One for, e uh, one for each day of the week with shoes and jewels to match. And maids. All the maids I could ever want. Oh, if only. Well, one can dream. Elisa. Oh, for goodness sake. On your way home, lass? What are you doing wandering about in the dark, Elisa? You ought to know it's dangerous out here. I'm not wondering about Mr. Ludwig. I've been working late, if you'd so kindly believe. You know better than to put yourself in danger, Elisa. I just read a story where Elisa was used as a reference for the... Main character, what a coincidence. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. If anyone's putting me in danger, it's you. I'd be home already if you... If you had not stopped me for nearfall. Come now, Lisa. We've, uh, we've got good reasons to worry. All this vigilance for what? What am I to be afraid of? The witch? Watch your words, Elisa. You're not to question such manners. What do you say we walk you home? I believe I'll just I'll be just fine on my own, Mr. Hainrich. No more detours, Elisa. It's for your own good. Lest I come across the witch, I know. Let us hope you don't come to regret your words, lass. Oh, I can't stand these folks. Yeah, yeah, I know. Find your way home? Thankfully, I know the way home. At least I hope I know the way home. Oh god. This game is so good. Uh, it was up here, right? Yeah. Um, what? Uh, oh, there we go. Cried grapes. I don't know why I was just stuck. I was just stuck for a minute.
And the game's not responding. Well, it wouldn't be my stream if this didn't happen. There we go. Oh, for goodness sake. It's impossible to keep this lantern lit in this wind. I guess I'll be finding my way home in the dark, I suppose. Yay, I can save. Um, can I please sit? Can I please save? Let me fucking save. Yes. The hitbox for this for this bird is like very weird. I don't know why. Progress saved. Nice. Thank you, bird. What in the Lord's name happened here? I have to find my matches. It's no use going in the pantry, is it? There's nothing to eat in this house. Wait. I don't have the time to tidy this mess up. Big shiny iron pot. Its inner surface is covered with uh, is covered in scratches. All right. What? What was that thing? I... Was I dreaming or... Yeah. I remember actually dying to that thing. What was I thinking leaving it here? I ought to light the fire now. Not leaving until I make sense of what happened here. Quite a broom. Good grief. What if it was that witch the townsfolk have been going on about? It was definitely a burglar. That said, I'm not going anywhere without my broom. I already grabbed it. That, uh, oh yes, it is, never mind. Admittedly, I probably should have tried dying to that thing. To see if there was a death screen this time. Or like a like a little new like art, but You feeling better? Yeah, I mean a little bit. There you are, you shameless thief. Give me back all you took. Right now. Wait, please. Please forgive me. Explain yourself, you wretch. What were you doing in my house? Wait, please don't hit me. I was just hiding. There were these men and I... I won't ask you a second time, thief. Give me back everything you took right now. Uh, I hopped on this. I hopped on this morning. And I'm pretty sure you were asleep. Uh, then because it was like 
5 a.m. here. Glad you're alive. Yeah. I didn't take anything. I was just scared. Please, I beg of you. Show me your hands. I didn't take anything, ma'am. Now show me your pockets and make it quick. I keep telling you, I didn't steal anything, ma'am. This is all I have, I swear. Coins and weeds. What are you doing up here in the mountains? I'm a traveler, ma'am. Turn around. You say you're a traveler. Are you all by yourself? I'm traveling alone. I hoped I could rest for the night in this village, but... I saw some people walking in, t uh, in the woods. It frightened, uh, it frightened me, so I ran to find some place to hide. Be that as it may, you're still... Oh, please forgive me, ma'am. I didn't mean to make such a mess. Would you stop calling me that? Alright, well... I might let you go. If you can prove your innocence, that is. I don't know what else I can do, ma'am. Well, you can start by cleaning up this mess. I've been working 12-hour shifts at a daycare four days in a row for the last couple of weeks. It's... Uh, it's great. I absolutely hate it. Yeah, that... Working at a daycare, that sounds awful. Sucks a suck. Um... Well, you could you can start by cleaning up this mess, and then you can, ma'am. Yes. yes, that's it. A maid. Yeah. First, you'll be tidying up the mess you've made. In fact, you can clean my whole house from top to bottom. That'll teach you not to go storming into strangers' homes. I, ma'am, uh -huh. complaining already? Are you? Wouldn't you agree... Wouldn't you agree this is the least you can do? Oh, of course. I'll gladly do it, ma'am. Good. And in exchange, I suppose you can stay here. But no more thieving. I'm not a thief, ma'am. I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. Anyhow, you work for me and I'll give you a place to stay. Fair enough, wouldn't you say? It does sound fair, ma'am, and it is very kind of you, but... I'm not a thief. Fine, you're not a thief. Now, would you stop calling me ma'am? Do I look like an old hag to you? You don't, I apologize. My name is Elise, and you best remember it. I'm so sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I hate just how difficult this name is to say. Uh, I'm on my first lunch break in a week. I'm going to get McDonald's. Alright, have a good lunch. <sighs> my name is Rosa Marine. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Elisa. For goodness, yeah. For goodness sake, just Elisa is fine. Come now. You have a lot of work to do. Oh. How could you even do all this? Look at my floors! Even Granny's plates shattered to pieces! What are you, a wild boar? 
I'm surprised you didn't break my windows and tear down the walls. Alright, well... You know what you did. Anyhow, take this. Make certain you get every nook and cranny... Uh, wait. Make certain you get into every nook and cranny, you hear? Yes, ma'am. While you're at it, you can sweep the chimney and clean out the fireplace, too. Oh, and wipe the stain off my wall and wash all my windows. I want this place sparkling by the time I wake up tomorrow, understood? And I told you to quit calling me that. Come now. Let me show you the well out the back. Oh, I can do it myself, Lisa. Anything to make up for what I've done. Look here, lassie. I've got no good reason to trust you. I didn't mean to. Every single corner of this house is to be absolutely spotless by sunrise. Dare to cross me even once, I'll be having a word with the townsfolks. Are we clear? Yes, Elisa. I'm sorry. I'll... I'll do my best. Be careful not to wake me, either. I have Sunday Master 10 tomorrow. I'll keep quiet. Good night, Elisa. It's best I leave her be. I just gave her quite the earful. Is something the matter, Elisa? No, it's nothing. It's been a long time since I've gone into Granny's, uh, into Granny Hall's room. Not that there's anything to see here, anyhow. Oh, wait, I didn't know about this. Granny Hall used to love this thing, didn't she? I never truly really understood why exactly. Now you've done it, Elisa. There was hardly a need to be that harsh, but still. What if she's dangerous, or worse, even? What if she's the witch the townsfolk have been talking about? I think she is. Uh, what would Granny Hold do, I wonder? She didn't raise me to be like this. I even threatened to tell on her, too. What's done is done, I suppose. I'll make sense of it tomorrow. It's best I go to bed. Ah, god, I fogged up my glasses. Fuck. It's morning already? I can't be late for Sunday Mass, or Father Hans will... Good grief, what was I thinking? She's probably taken everything I own by now. Yeah, I know. I really ought to go through all this junk sometime, I suppose. Small wooden truck filled with, uh, trunk filled with various uh, knickknacks. Right, all oh, ten endings, yeah. Can only hope she hasn't taken anything. So much for St. Walpurga's protection. I ought to have thrown you out long... Uh, I ought to have thrown you out long ago, lassie. Pums joined in a prayer. The wooden statue of St. Walpurga grants protection to the faithful. 
This thing... This thing's still not working, is it? I have to have a word with... Mr. Wilhelm sometime soon, I suppose. The clock's hands greet uh, dutifully through time, struggling to turn uh, with each passing second. Wait, that's different. Did it always look like this? Or maybe not. Doesn't seem like she took or broke anything, but... Hey! Was that her name? I can't believe she tied it up and left just like that. Didn't even give her anything to eat last night, the poor thing. Now where, sh now where could she have gone to? Someone's going to punch his it. There's nothing to eat in the house. Strange cobwebs and dust cling to the old oven's wooden doors as though sealing them. Whether by time, the well's wooden structure stands frayed and worn. There you are, you. Honestly. What are you doing here? I... I was intending to leave first thing in the morning, but... I was afraid I'd get lost in the dark. Never mind, come with me now. Are you taking me to the village? Who do you take me for? Some wretch? Forget what I said last night. Not exactly my finest moment. I... I didn't mean to be such a brute. To be told, uh, truth be told. Uh, I'm sorry for what I did too. I got it. I'll put it, uh, all of that's dead and buried. Now come, I'm running late for Sunday Mass. Ah, yeah, wait for me, Elisa. Okay. Oh my god, he's so cute. So adorable. Oh, I'm so relieved to see you. Where have you been? You know this goat? Yes, of course. You might on the way to Kieferberg. We've been together since. <laughs> yes, we were. Yes, we were. Oh, he's the cuddliest little thing, isn't he? The cuddliest little thing, you say? Anyhow, I ought to get going. I wouldn't want to be late for Sunday Mass. Ah, uh, uh, yes. I'll be back in a moment, Froke. What a cute little girl. I have to say, you did a decent job tidying up. You did pretty much everything I asked you to. Oh, I'm so glad. 
I wanted to assure you I meant no harm, Elisa. It kept me up for hours last night, thinking you'd... I get it already. No need to tell me. Here, have some bread. You must be hungry. Thank you, Elisa. You really are too kind. You do remember I hit you with a broom, right? Called you a thief, made you do my bidding and whatnot. Most folks would have tossed me right out the moment they found me, but you didn't. I suppose I didn't. Anyhow, I'm heading out. Don't wander about, and don't make a mess. I won't, Elisa. Ah, before you go, Elisa. Hmm? I have something to tell you if... You could meet me later today. What's keeping you from telling me now? Ah, well... It's important, so... I'll be back by nightfall, alright? For goodness sake. It best be worth my while, you hear? Ah, I promise it's nothing bad. We'll see about that. Um, I can probably save over this. Oh wait, what's this? Would you like to revisit the game's tutorials now? Alright. I'll get an earful from Father Hands if I don't hurry up. Unlocked map menu, except I can't really... There we go. That's not really... For being a map, it's like, kind of... Being a map is kind of just bare bones. Like, there's no like fast travel or anything. Uh, this isn't time to wander about. I best hurry. Uh, yeah, I don't need to save. It's fine. Uh, this is not the way. Um... Yeah, there we go. There you are, Lisa. Come here, why don't you? Good day, Granny Gretel. On your way to Mass, I see. Anything to keep Father Hans off my back. I have some fresh buns, they'll cheer you right up. Why don't you take a look? What can I do for you today, dearie? I'm buying. What are you buying? Mm, I do love me a good pretzel. Why is, why is bread 10 but a pretzel is 5? Oh, no, never mind. No, that that's just a quantity I have. Never mind. Some of the names sound German, don't they? Uh, yeah, I think, I think they do. Especially since Rosa and Marine is literally spelled with a Z. Or is it just me? No, I, I think you're right. Well, now I'm poor, just like real life. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? I would love to get pretzels. I love pretzels. Tell me if you need any... Tell me if you need anything. But yeah, I think some of these names are like... Kind of German. Oh, a goat. Can't talk to it, damn it. I 
And now, what was the name of the other two main girls? Fun. We'll find out. Can I talk to people? Uh... Might be best to seal our windows and doors. Old Will... Uh, Old Wilhelm, just in case. Ah, there she is, alive and kicking. Made I home alright last evening, I see? I did indeed, Mr. Bernhard. More importantly, what happened here? Eh, here. That dreaded windstorm, that's what happened. I suppose you didn't have it as bad up in the up in the mountains. I certainly didn't by the looks of it. Oh, it was a sight. Uh, it was a sight you wouldn't believe, lass. Funny because there is a German story for children where uh, a Gretel pushes a witch in the oven and this Gretel bakes. Oh god. <laughs> if, if that Gretel wasn't like a side character, I feel like that would have that that might have been the inspiration of the story. <laughs> like if Gretel was a main character, I feel like that's what was about to happen. <laughs> Branches and leaves piled up high against Folk's door. Entire treetops, some of them. Surely that's a bit of an exaggeration. The alleys took a beating, that's for certain. Some say they heard a, uh, a wind knocking at their doors. Old Jochen says it might have been the witch herself, but... Oh, here we go again. You can never be too certain, lass. Anyhow, I'll be heading inside now, folks. Let us hope for a better night's sleep this evening. May the Lord hear you, Wilhelm. Hello? Everything alright, Miss Linda? Oh, it is a... Would you take a look at my poor flowers? That windstorm nearly uprooted all of them from their pots. Was it really that big of a storm? It was only a little windy up at the peaks. Why, wow, you've seen all, all these branches scattered about town. I heard Brunhilde... Uh, Brunhilde's roof nearly came off. Oh, it was so frightening. I suppose. Good, good seeing you, Elisa. Oh, it must have been even worse up in the mountains. It wasn't that bad, believe it or not. Ah, uh, that's such a relief. I'm afraid we weren't as lucky, sadly. Oh, I do hope nobody was hurt. You can thank both the Lord and Saint Walpurga no uh, nobody was, but... Many of the townsfolk got their windows shattered and their roof, would, uh, and their roof tiles were, was blown off. What about you, Mr. Hainrich? Oh, it was awful. Our window shatters were ripped right off their, uh, right off their hinges. It'll take all day to tidy up and fix everything. That's alright. Uh, that's alright, dearest. The sooner we get to it, the sooner it'll be done. I can lend a hand if you'd like me to. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Ariane. Oh, that's alright, Elisa. Come now, you two. We'd best get inside. Can I go over here? No. Okay. This isn't the time to wonder about it. It's best to hurry. Alright. Goodness, Elisa, you look dreadful. Good morning to you, Miss Bertha. Oh, I wasn't certain you'd come today, Elisa. Why wouldn't I, Miss Odiria? My Elisa, you you do look quite tired. Couldn't catch a wink. Couldn't catch a wink, I'd wager. Frightening, wasn't it? Oh, it must have been dreadful up in the mountains. Not at all. It seems you folk had it worse than I did. Why? Now that's hard to believe. That was no ordinary windstorm, I tell you. 
How so, Adidia? Oh, I've about had it with this nonsense. She's saying it came from the woodland, that's what. Oh, Adidia. It's no use entertaining such notions, my dear. You'll see, M Mariel. All I can see is we're running late for mass. Goodness. What has Kiefenberg come to? After you, Elisa. The woodland, huh? <laughs> right there. There's something important. Good morning, Elisa. Why are you always so cheery, Freya? You took so long, I thought you weren't coming. I ever slept a little, I suppose. Didn't get that much sleep last night. Oh, me neither. And not because of that windstorm. Not even my little sprig could help me. Your sprig? I keep a tiny sprig of lavender under my pillow, you see. Sniffing it helps me sleep better, and it leaves such a lovely... Shh. Keep right, you two. You best focus now, Elisa. You're the one wittering on, Freya. May the blessing of the Lord, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit be with us. May the hallowed self what what well purga, whatever the fuck, I still don't know how to say that. Take heed of our prayers. Amen. This Saturday we will once again be celebrating our patroness Selwa Purga. As you all know, preparations for the festivities are already underway. Let us all contribute to the best of our abilities, brethren. That said, I am aware of what transpired last night. Several of our neighbors were severely affected by the windstorm. I urge everyone to lend a hand in clearing out the alleyways. Let us all have compassion for one another in these trying times. Let us trust Zeltwal Purga to guide our people and keep Kieferberg out of harm's way. May the Lord be with you, brethren. Amen. <laughs> Took you all you had to get out of bed this morning, I'd wager. Very funny, Lipkachen. Checks aside, Lisa. Don't I keep telling you to take your apron off for Sunday Mass? I'm certain the Lord couldn't care less, so why should you? <laughs> You're riling me up on purpose again, Lub. Can you tell? Oh, for goodness sake. I'd best get to work before it gets late. Don't forget to come about later, Elisa. I won't, I won't. Relationship menu. We best send the word to... Primaldorf before... Ah, Elisa didn't see you there. Send word to Primaldorf, Mr. Gustav? We're having folks from Primaldorf lend a hand. With the festival this year, Lisa. I heard the windstorm wasn't as bad up in the mountains last. Freya was fretting over you like you wouldn't believe. 
She was? You ought to thank the Lord for your good fortune, Elisa. Certainly, Father. Hard at work even on a Sunday, are you? Well, aren't I, Father? Sundays are meant for rest, Elisa. You let us know if you ever need a hand, you hear? Of course, Mr. Gustav. Thank you. Couldn't sleep much last night, could you? Could you? Didn't sleep a wink. Explains the hilarity. You're hopeless, Lubkachen. As long as you keep indulging me. So it's my fault, huh? Here you go, before I forget. Pretzels. You know me so well. Oh, you brought me my favorite. Mr. Bernhardt said you were rather late getting home last night. Is that so? I did tell you it was almost time for supper when you stopped by. And I told Miss Am uh, Elma... Wait, and I told you Miss Elma worked me like a donkey right up until nightfall. Oh, wait. Her name is Lebkachen. How fucking cute. Yeah. What does it mean? I don't actually know. If that means anything. Or if it like or if it's like a reference to something. I I'm not sure. Mr. Bernhard was uh fretting over you is all. Mr. Bernhard can find better things to do with his time, I'm certain. Her name is Lebkuch and she uh, gives you pretzels. Kinda disappointed, not gonna lie. I mean, like... I mean, if she's giving me pretzels, she's, she clearly knows how to get to my heart, you know? You really are so stubborn, Elisa. Anyhow, it's about time I head out. Say... I'll be up at the bell tower all afternoon if, you, uh, if you'd like to keep me company. I'll be there, Leb. There it is. Uh, this is important. There it is. There's something written on here. Hallowed Walpurga. Sanctified by... Sanctified be thy name. May thy will be everlasting and thy grace all embracing. Quench thou shalt be on this Sabbath of the full moon. May this prayer find its restful place in thy life, bearing grove. A prayer? There's something else at the bottom. Kieferberg's offering lies in the crossroad beyond the maypole. May thy thirst be quenched, thy blessings received. In the crossroads. I wonder who dropped this. Oh, Lepkachan is gingerbread. Ah. I see. Investigate the notes further. I would love to do that, but I don't think there are any. I remember sinking into Father Hans' study with... A lab when we were children. These two rooms have nothing but junk in them anyhow. Oh, hold on. Saint Walpurga, huh? Basking in its holy glory, the image of Sa of Saint Walpurga solemnly watches over Kiefenberg's church. I think I think she lives like where the um, where the where the bakery is, so I guess it makes sense that uh, her name has to do with bread. I've never seen water coming out of here before. I wonder if they've ever been used for anything. Polished, uh, polished completely smooth. The pearly stone basin sits untouched.
Yeah, unfortunately there isn't like a... This place always brings back such good memories. The fragrant mountain breeze frolics about the rolling hills, spreading uh, its spring cheer all across Kiefenberg. Wait, hold on, what was... Oh, hi. Thank goodness that's over. What a bore. To think I'll have to work all day until the evening. What was this? I stopped lighting candles ever since Granny Hall passed. Not that they ever did anything, anyhow. Kept burning in the wake of a prayer, each candle's flame... Flickers in serene devotion. Hello. Ah, Elisa, I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? I almost forgot to give you this. You know, it would be funny if Lovely Chen is a witch, because uh, Gretel pushed a witch. In an oven, and Love Kitchen such gingerbread is baked in an oven, and she lives near the bakery. But I don't believe that Love's a witch. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's the case, but that would be very funny. You mentioned your hands were feeling dry, right? Oh, you didn't have to, Freya. I don't know. Maybe we'll see, cause I, <laughs> because I think right now the main mystery is that um. Is that Rose and Marine is the witch, but like there's no confirmation of that. At least not in there wasn't in the demo. Oh, you didn't have to, Freya. I use it right before bed every night. It does wonders for the skin. You put a little lavender in there too. Wait, you made this yourself? Of course I did, silly. That's Papa's favorite. His hands are always dry, you see. You do have a knack for this sort of thing, don't you? Ah, uh, so I'm told, I suppose. Anyhow, I'd best move along before it gets late. Say it, Issa. I was wondering. I'm going to go pick up some flowers this afternoon up in the mountains. Flowers? I thought maybe you might care to join me if you'd like. Alright, I'll be there, Freya. Ah, that's wonderful. Have a nice day, Issa. Wait, wait, where did she go to? That that path is blocked off, isn't it? What's getting into her? I mean, her outfit looks witchy from... From Rosa Marina. Yeah, it does look pretty witchy. Like, witch-like. But that might just be, like... Just... Kind of the devs trying to... Trying to maybe trick us. Trying telling us like she is the witch, but then she isn't. I don't know. <laughs> it's like reverse psychology. We can uh we can't all leave uh Kieferberg of uh over this nonsense. Leaving? Who's leaving? Oh Edisa. It's that uh it's that witch folks keep uh folks keep wittering on about. That windstorm couldn't have been a mere coincidence. Old Jochen's. Calm down, Brunhilde. Think of our baby. Now, I'm not sure... Uh, oh wait, now I'm not one to believe such things, but... I thought you weren't buying into this nonsense, Miss Bertha. Why? Who are you to, who are you to say it's nonsense, Elisa? You're just jumping into conclu... You're just uh, jumping to conclusions... Uh, I'd say, but it is nonsense with it. Uh, you're jumping to conclusions. I think that's what it... I think that's what it, uh, was in the demo. That's what I picked. And it was correct. We all know old Jochen's making too much of it as usual. Oh, I hope you're right. Of course we do, Adisa. It's just... Last night was so frightening, it left us all wondering. I understand, Miss Dorothea. Dor Dor Dorothea? I think it's Dorothea. I don't know. 
Yeah, fretting like this isn't... Worrying like this won't get us anywhere. Truly, Miss Bertha, you're right. For goodness sake. Suspicion... Yeah, okay. That's, uh, that's a good answer. That old hag. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Hello there. Can't be bothered to lend a hand in the alleys. Oh wait, can't be bothered to lend a ha hand in the alleys, Elisa? Folks can look after their own homes, I'd say. Sparing yourself on a Sunday, I see. As a matter of fact, I happen to work every Sunday, Miss Lorelei. All right, all right, whatever you say, Lassie. Say, have you ever, have you, have you seen my niece by chance? Molly? I'll take it you haven't then. No, I don't think I have, Miss Lorelei. She's been up to go no good lately, you see. Running a bell, begging for food, skipping class, who knows what else. I see. Nothing's, uh, nothing a good whipping can fix anyhow. I wouldn't be so certain. Can I talk to you? You've seen what it did to the alleys, uh, Marielle. Oh, well, Didier, what are you... Uh, what are we to do with you? Is anything alright, Miss Marielle? Well, Didi here is making too much of, uh, is making too much of that windstorm is all. You'll see, Marielle. See what, Miss Odelia? Old Jochen's right, lass. That windstorm came from the woodland. It's, it's that wretched witch. For goodness sake. You best keep such thoughts to yourself, Odidia. The townsfolks are already frightened. You wouldn't want to make it worse. Why? I'm simply trying to alert uh, folks to the... You ought to watch your words, dearie. That's what happens when you try... That's what happens when you try Miss Mariel's patience, I suppose. Miss Odidia's losing her wits. That's what. She keeps spreading this nonsense about the town. Oh, okay, hold on. I'll wait for that for a second. Um, yes, 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 yes. I want to see real quick. Um, ah, it's so good to see you, my dear. I've been fretting all morning. I'm alright, Miss Elizabeth. Thank you. I heard from Ludwig uh, you were getting home uh, last... You were late getting home last night, Elisa. I thought gossip is supposed to be a sin. I mean no ill will, my dear. I'm hungry, Mama. Let's go home. Settle down, Angelica. Can't you see I'm talking to Elisa? Folks have been keeping me... Folks have been keeping me later and later lately. I can talk some sense into them if, uh, I can talk some sense into them for you, my dear. You have more than enough on your plate as is, Miss Elizabeth. Not at all, Elisa. I'm glad to keep an eye on you. You're always too kind, Miss Elizabeth. Mama, hurry up. All right, all right. Hello there. Hard to believe that windstorm ever happened, wouldn't you say? I suppose. I'm afraid old Odidia is losing her wits, however. You've seen how jittery she is this morning, haven't you? It can't be good for her health, that's for certain. She's always rather anxious, you see. All this nonsense about the witch and the woodland, uh, and the woodland is only making it worse. So you think it's nonsense too, Mr. Wilhelm? Uh, I'm not one to believe in such things, but old Jochen seems to know a thing or two about this witch he speaks of. Oh, for goodness sake. One can't know for certain, lass. She could be out there for all we know. Best make certain we all check under our beds tonight, then. Here's hoping you don't come to regret your words, Elisa. I don't think I have anything to sell at the shop. 
Best not wander around too far, okay. So I can go over here for some reason. And this is where I'll meet um what's her name? I'll get an ear for, from Father Hands if I don't hurry up. But huh? But there's nothing to hurry up about. Just gotta work. <laughs> Okay, I don't think there's anyone else over here, so... Working on a Sunday again, Elisa? Sundays are for taking one's leisure. I'm afraid I can't afford to take my leisure, old Yochan. The festival's this Sunday, Elisa. There won't be any shortage of work, I'm sure. You also look after yourself, Elisa. Ludwig's right. We're facing rather, uh, rather trying times, folks. Trying times, you say? That windstorm was a warning from the witch, lass. Oh, for goodness sake. We'll be heading out on patrol again tonight, old Yochen. As for you, Elisa, make certain you head home before nightfall today. May St. Walpurga's blessing be upon us, folks. Oh wait. Imagine living across Wilma's Inn. What do you say, Lisa? About what, Miss Marlin? Ah, don't mind us. We're just talking about the festival. It's the perfect opportunity to find yourself a groom, Elisa. Can't say I'm interested if I'm honest. Don't try her patience, Marlon. Oh, I was right about Elisa's age when I met Tristan. Lucas, too. He wasn't much older when he left for uh, Primeldorf to get married. Linda, what did I tell you? I won't hear an another word about your brother, Linda. It's best I leave them to it. Ah, here I thought I wouldn't be seeing you today, Elisa. Everything's fine, Miss... Uh... McTilda. I hardly noticed the windstorm. Oh, you can't imagine how glad I am to hear that, dearie. I'm afraid I wasn't as fortunate, however. I can lend a hand with anything you need, uh... Miss McTilda. Thank you, my dear. All is well, don't fret. I woke up to a pile of branches blocking my front door, that's all. I had to wait for the lads to come and clear it out. Well, I'm glad it wasn't more serious. So am I, Elise. I was worried about you. Living all alone up in the mountains. I can look after myself, Miss Matilda. Oh, I can only hope that... I can only hope... Uh... Ow. Un oh, I can only hope... We can all have a better night's sleep tonight. Oh? Hold up. Are you here to prank Wilma too, Elisa? Jacob, why did you tell her? What's this about pranking Miss Wilma? It's nothing to do with you. Oh, no, you don't. Out with it, you two. Either spill it or I'll be telling Miss Wilma everything I just heard. Please, Elisa, don't tell anyone. 
Join us then. Let's rank her together. Apfel. Deal. Hurrah. So, what's this about? Buckets. Buckets? We're hanging a bucket of water above the... Uh, above the inn's front door, Elisa. So that when she comes out... Splash. And how are you two expecting to do this without ever being... Uh, without being seen? Uh, we... Um, well... For goodness sake. Oh, I thought this... This looks like a path... Wait, there's something here. Woman's shack. I wonder what she keeps in here. What a mess. Uh, why are chapters named after food? Oh wait, why are characters named after food? Apple is apple. Oh. I mean, I love it, but why? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it... Maybe it, like... I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm not be going through here anytime soon, I suppose. Maybe it'll be explained one day. Uh... Okay... Hold on, I never did that one now that I think about it. Let me try... Let me save. I mean, we got gingerbread and we got apple. Hmm... I think it might just be like... Which will collect them all to make dinner easy? <laughs> oh my god, imagine. Ah, you come by just in time, Elisa. You seem a little anxious, Miss Alma. How can I not be with all this rubbish scattered about town? Anyhow, won't you fetch me some apples? Alright, I'll do it. I'll lend you a hand, Miss Alma. See that you bring me the absolute ripest you... Uh, yeah. See that you bring me the absolute ripest you hear? Also, <laughs> speaking of apples... Only makes me want to bring her the rotten ones. How many apples do these folks need anyhow? Is there a mini game to the Yes, there is. It's raining apples. <laughs> ah. Round one. Oh. Wait, those are bad, right? Ow! The purple ones are bad. Because, like... I assume... I just love older games like oh older names on types of focus. Uh, I I miss ah. I'm, ah. Fuck. Stop. Wow. Ah. Yep, that one was bad. <laughs> cool. I just love older names like Bernhard or Elma. Just great. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Elma is still like a, a name today. I'm pretty sure. Try again. No. Ah, 
pass. This will do, I suppose. I would have been better off asking Freya instead, perhaps. Why didn't you ask her then? No, oh, I will next time. What a bitch. Disentitled old hag. <laughs> And it's the afternoon, so... Or is it? This... Yep, romantic date available. Uh, I'm also gonna say... There you are, lassie. Here I am, Miss Wilma. You've heard, I'm sure. About the windstorm, yes. Oh, oh to hell with that nonsense. I'm talking about the festival. What about it, Miss Wilma? My Elisa didn't... My Elisa? I didn't take you for a simpleton. What do you take me for then? What do you take... I would appreciate it if you didn't insult me, Miss Wilma. Why? You're acting as tough. Wait, you're acting as though I called you a witch, Elisa. I wouldn't put it past you at this point. My, is that a threat? It's too bad I'm not a proper witch, wouldn't you say? You aren't to say such a th such things, Elisa. How distasteful can you get, you little... Whatever you say, Miss Wilma. Suspicion... Ah. Oh, I would throw her in the well if I could. Okay, I can't go here, but maybe there's someone... Uh... Maybe there's a way to... No. Alright, never mind. Oh, what am I to do, Elisa? Father Hans knows what's best for us, Odelia. Is anything alright, Miss Marlin? Where's the side that came from Woodland? Oh, for goodness sake, Miss Odelia. Old Jochen's been wittering on about this nonsense, you see. Uh, we need to convince Father Hans to tell us the truth. What truth, Miss Odelia? Father can't... Uh, what truth? Father Hans knows about as much as we do, anyhow. Old Stefan wor uh, warned us, lass. He said that we... For goodness sake, old Stefan was on his deathbed. We can't keep on clinging to his gibberish. You may be right, Marlin. Yet I still... Gather your prayers and compose yourself now. Oh, I suppose. Suspicion down. Nice. So now uh, I'm basic. I'm back to full, right? Uh, how do I check suspicion again? Yep. Like that. Okay, hold on. Um, let me... So, the sad part about this is that I can only go on one day. Oh, wait, what's this? This I actually... Let me go save. I actually don't know what this is. Um... Okay, I'm actually... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to reset a couple of times on, on this day alone. Um, because I, like, doing one thing... Saving this slot, yes. Progress saved. Um, doing one thing basically, like, speeds up the day, so other things won't be available. So what do you have to say? Oh, Elisa. You don't look so good, Miss Dorothea. Dorothea. Have you seen Miffy by any chance? I ought to make sure he's doing uh, she's doing her daily readings. She's awfully behind. No, I haven't. Have you tried asking Miss Lorelei? Yes, I was told she was sent to the well for water, but she's not there. Oh, at least I can only pray she's alright. Does she wander off uh, quite often? Wait, she does wander off quite often, doesn't she? Won't you please tell her if you see her? Okay, let's see if I can do this. And the day doesn't skip ahead. I can only hope. So where's the well, actually? I just 
I just realized I don't actually know. Did I save? Unless it's like the well at my house, but I doubt it. Is this where the well is? No. Yeah, I don't think that they're... Oh, I can go over here. This is where Freya is, right? Yep. Uh, I'll be back. I'll be back to see Best Girl. Or probably Best Girl, I assume. She's green, so I assume so. Um, and, yeah, it doesn't seem like she's here. <laughs> that threw me off. <laughs> yep, nope. Uh, shit. Where is the well? <laughs> Maybe it's uh, the one down here somewhere. Uh, but I need to go all the way back. I'll find it one day. It's gonna happen. Maybe it's like this place that... Um... That, uh... That I wasn't able to go to earlier. Nope. Damn it. Um Imagine it was like right where <laughs> It was just in the town and I just completely didn't notice like a dumbass. <sighs> just imagine. <laughs> Uh... Oh, it was just her. Okay, well, I'm, I'm stupid. Miss Dorothea is looking for you, Molly. Eek! N not the daily readings. Oh, for goodness' sake! I'm not going back, Elisa. It's a Sunday. So, I'm working either way, aren't I? Ah, oh, but you're different. What's that? I'm just a girl, I can't be working all day like you. Uh, what are you looking for? I was gone for a moment. Uh, I was looking for her. <laughs> Molly can't get herself... Molly can get herself in trouble all she wants, I couldn't care less. <laughs> I was looking for her, and I went around, uh, needlessly. So, yeah. So, do I tell her that? Goodness, Elisa. Did you find her? She's out eating everything she can find, it seems. Oh, what am I to do with that girl? You best leave her be, Miss Dorothea. I'll have a word with Miss Lorelai, that's what. I got this for her, but you can have it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, you didn't have to, Miss Dorothea. 
Mindy's my problem, Elisa, not yours. I suppose. Okay. Uh, now save. There were so many games that I hadn't seen in the demo. So, I want to see what they are here. Uh, first one being this. Her. Ah, Elisa, are you busy today, I wonder? Do you need anything, Miss Linda? I was hoping you could collect some eggs for me if you had the time. I've been lending a hand in the alleyways, you see. Wait, this is just a chicken minigame, isn't it? I'm rather busy. Maybe later, Miss Linda. I have my hands full at the moment. Oh, that's alright. I'd ask Jacob, but the poor lad's afraid of the hens. Yeah, the, that's the chicken minigame that I did in the demo. Okay, so I that's actually the same one, huh? Now let's talk to people around here. More good than bad coming your way. Hey, can this moth... I think I caught it. Hold on. Uh, real quick, I'll be right back. Hold up. <laughs> I just caught like a moth in midair. <laughs> Hold up. Let me just release it outside. At least I think I caught it. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't able to see. Because <laughs> it's kind of dark in my room. Because I tend to have the lights off when I stream. Also, let me go make tea while I'm at it. There we go. Alright. More good than bad coming your way. God willing. You best keep a positive outlook, Ludwig. The festival's a, a week away. Are you still talking about the windstorm? Even the last has had enough of that, you see? Old Jochen's right, Heinrich. It was more than, than a mere windstorm. Oh, for goodness sake. I think I speak for all of Kieferberg when I say it's better to be safe than sorry, that's all. Spreading this nonsense uh, about town is doing more harm than good, Mr. Ludwig. I have to agree, old Odile is losing her wits. Father Hans can have a word with her later. As for us, we have to act before it's too late or we'll never hear the end of it. Oh god. Auntie is ready, hold up.
I'm back. I'm back in black. I hit the sack. I've been too long. I'm glad to be back. Alright, um... So, uh, what was I doing again? Right, talk to these kids. Erise, Erise. I'm busy. Shoo, shoo. You're so boring, Elisa. No wonder you're always in such a bad mood, Elisa. Also, I just... Wait. I just realized. Uh... Okay, there we go. Uh... Do you ever just look out the window after doing something so you can pretend you did something... ...with a bit of nature, and there's a whole fucking tree out of nowhere? Wait, what? Uh, did a tree like grow in front of your window? Also, I've never seen this. <laughs> I've I've never seen this uh, this art of Elisa. Oh, I'll tell you who's always in a bad mood, you little. Please, Elisa, come play with us. She won't. She's a coward. Coward, coward. Oh, I'll show you the coward. Give me that. Oh. God damn. I actually didn't know there was art here. Um, oh my god. Now they are named after color. Grun is green. Cool. Huh. Yeah, the tree was just there out of nowhere. Wow. So that way, so that is your like is the vision out of out of your window just blocked off by the tree? <laughs> like you just not look outside anymore through that window? <laughs> How did you do that, Elisa? Oh, she's good. You did it from so far away, Elisa. You're making too much of it, you brats. Your arms are. Yeah, your arms are longer, that's why. Cheater, you're a cheater. <laughs> why you? I fucking hate kids. My new motto is wear condoms. Um. So, hold on. Are you also, like, one that I did before? Could you lend me a hand? When you chop me some firewood for tonight. That one's new. Hold on, let me actually go save. Uh, what about those branches scattered about town? Oh, I wouldn't want to touch those. I'm sorry, but I'm a little busy, Miss Elizabeth. I can get to it myself later in the day, don't fret. Ah, but do tell me if you find any time, alright? Of course. Okay, let me go save. Because I want to... I want to try this mini game out. Because that's not one that I did before. Um... Also, I didn't talk to them. Let me go... Actually, before I save, let me go do that. Oh, Arisa. Ah, Arisa, perfect timing. Luckily... Uh... Now I look at gardens... That are around the house. And then... Uh... And then one that just spawned around three meters away from the window. And a younger one, too. Oh. What's the matter, Miss Marielle? Poor Odelia is losing her wits, you see. She's rather superstitious after all. I suppose it could be bad considering her age. Truly. She's been coming in and out of the alleys, too. I suppose she's fretting over the damage, but... Are you done with the cleanup, Miss Ariane? Ah, but it's taken a while. Oh wait, ah, it's taken a while, but it's coming along. Odelia won't last a week carrying on like this. Without our support, I'm afraid she'll... Miss Marielle is making too much of it, I'm certain. It's not that like Miss Odelia is going to die from fright. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, it's wonderful seeing the laddies making merry, isn't it? It reminds me of my time with Gretel and your grandmother, Elisa. You three used to be very close, I remember. 
Oh, we got up to some mischief, that's for certain. That's hard to imagine, if I'm honest. Seeing those laddies running about gives me hope, Elisa. You, Freya, and Lepkuchen too? All good girls. I can't say I won't leave town eventually, Miss... Uh... Mechtilde. This game is... These names are so hard to pronounce. Keeperberg is... Uh... Is our home. Oh, wait, Keeperberg is our home, Elisa. I would say that... I would say that alone is worth our while. I suppose. Alright, now let's save. Can I please save? Thank you. Yes, save in this slot. Cool. Alright. Now let's try this, then I'll reset, and then I'll go on the romantic date with Leb, then I'll reset, and then I'll go on the date with Freya. Ah, uh, Elisa, could you lend me a hand? Yes. Leave it to me. How many lugs would you like, Miss Elizabeth? I'll be needing quite a few to make some cheese later, so don't hold back. Alright, I'll be on my way. Why don't they ask Freya to- Ah, uh, well. <laughs> this just ends up being lumber last, I bet. <laughs> Top kick. Hold on. Round one. Two. One. Go. <laughs> I got bonked. No, not the poor thing. Ow. And I suck at these. Two, one, go. I call Love is just bonking me. <laughs> like, goddamn girl. I thought violence was a sin. Rank A. Oh. Hold up. Rank A? It's not gonna matter because. It's not gonna matter because I'm about to reset, but. Damn. You win. Goodness, Elisa. I won't have to chop wood for an entire week. I suppose I got a little carried away. This isn't nearly enough to compensate you, but... It's plenty, Miss Elizabeth. Thank you. Alright. All done. All done. All done. I need to... I need to save. I need to save. Uh, not save. I need to... I need to reset. Alright, load. This. Is Elisa wearing a... A... Dear... dear I, I, I don't know what that is. Hold on. Is she? Um... Let me... Let me make a... a quick... Google search of what that is. Uh... Dear... That is... Oh, I spelled it wrong. Uh, oh, I think... Oh, she might be. Oh, it's one of these, yeah. Uh, she might be. Can I see... Hold on. Let's just go back to the title screen. Because we can see her there. It's like... Uh... Maybe she was, like... Well, I guess... 
Hmm. I don't think she is here. Maybe she was in that mini game. I, I didn't notice. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, let's talk to Leb. <laughs> Oh wait, actually, is there anyone in here? No. Alright. Wait, what's this? No wonder Father Hans is such a miserable wretch. I would be too if I had to read this gibberish all day. Father Hans' holy scripture rests upon the altar, each page scrawled with annotations. This must be Lebkuchen's Bible. Let's see. No, I can't do it. It's so tedious, I can't get past the first sentence. <laughs> A copy of the Holy Scripture rests upon the altar beneath a thin layer of dust. <coughs> dust. Alright. Hey, Lab. There she is. I'll spend some time with her. My, there was no need to run, Elisa. Who's running, you? <laughs> You're always like this, Lebkuchen. I can't help it. You're so easy to tease, Elisa. For goodness sake. It's such a nice day today. I can stay here until nightfall. In the mood for another earful from Father Hans, are you? Remember when we would sneak up? Uh, remember when we, we would sneak up here at nighttime to look at the stars and snack on leftover pretzels? As if I'd forget that. Or that night that old geezer caught us. <laughs> You'll never let that one go, will you, Elisa? That wretch had me on my knees praying for hours on end. Yet all you got was an earful. I recall praying right out. Uh, I recall praying right alongside you that night, don't you? Because you felt sorry for me, not because he told you to. You two will never see eye to eye, will you? What's there to see? You're the one uh, who's put up with him for too long, the way I see it. It's not as though we've. It's not as though we've never been at odds with each other. Oh, spare me. Over what? You think I'm short of complaints? Indulge me, why don't you? <laughs> Bald geezers like you belong in the pig pen, you anchor! <laughs> Lepkuchen. <laughs> You'll never hear us from up here, Elisa. Mm. Alright, but you're the one getting the lecture if he catches us. At the top of your lungs now. You're so ugly, not even Selwalpurga can save you, you ogre! <laughs> Wait, are those pine trees? Because if the name Kieferberg makes sense... Kiefer being... Uh... Kiefer... Uh... Meaning pine tree and Berg being mountains. Uh... Are there... Oh, actually, yeah. Is it pine trees? I mean, there's like flowers in the background, but I don't think that's actually part of the background. Uh... Yeah, I don't... Uh... We'll see. <laughs> there, tell me my hair is too long again. Now chop up whatever is left of yours, you old weasel. Did he really tell you that? For a clergy woman, that is. Who cares about some made-up rules, Leb? Aren't you feeling a lot lighter after all that, Elisa? I can see you needed it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm no saint after all, despite my veil. It's a shame you don't let your hair down more often, Leb. It suits you much better than that dust cloth on your, on your head. 
My, you're such a charmer, Elisa. All it does is weigh you down. It makes you look gloomy, too. How do I look without it, then? You're such a killjoy, Lepkuchen. Anyhow, Elisa, it's best we move along, wouldn't you say? Those eggs won't collect themselves, I suppose. I'll be waiting for you by the bakery later, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Of course, Leb, I'll be there. Oh, achieve one heart with someone. Budding love. Uh, but we are going to reset. So this conversation never happened. <laughs> Imagine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, load this. Yes. Uh, are there pine trees? I don't know. What tree is this? Maybe it is a pine tree. I don't know. <laughs> I don't see any pines around, but... I don't know. <laughs> Did I ever talk to these three? Working on Sunday again, Elisa. Ought to keep myself fed, I'd say. Say, Elisa, we've been considering rebuilding these homes. These piles of rubble? What for? I told you, fellas. Not a soul in Kieferberg will give it... We'll give it the time of day. I don't see how it'd be uh, worth the hassle, that's all. It's such a sh It's such a shame we're sitting uh, right by the village square, too. But who would choose to settle in Kiefenberg, all of, us, uh, of all places? Come now, folks. If we don't rebuild our town, who will? You're right, Gustav. This is our home, after all. It's a mixed forest, I think? Hmm. Might be. There's no swaying you two, is there? They could rebuild all of Kiefenberg and it still wouldn't make a difference. Uh, actually, let me buy some food. Because I know how much I'm gonna need it. Uh, um... What are you buying? I will buy a pretzel. And I will buy two bread. I guess... Uh... What? Oh, okay. Massive food. I, I didn't get the chance to read that. Oh, well. Some pretzels, maybe? I already bought pretzels. Can I sell anything? Oh, I can sell one of these. But no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. See you, Granny. You ought to eat more, at least. Eat up. Anyway, let's go to Freya now. Wait. Hold on. Did I just? Oh my god. Over there, look! Look, it has the same symbol! Uh... Was this always here? Was this opening here before, I wonder? This place is so stuffy. I didn't know this was here! Diary entry one. This looks an awful lot like that old geezer's robe, doesn't it? What's this? The miracle of our bleh, the miracle of our beloved patroness, Saint Walpurga. After last evening's events, I have no choice but to take responsibility. Not only for Saint Walpurga's sake, but for all, 
uh, old hole as well. Huh? Granny Hole. On her deathbed, old Hole confessed to all her sins. Among her most mundane missteps, she told me of Elisa. Of her many prayers to cure her of her childlessness. Yet, what struck me was as remarkable... Wait, what struck me as remarkable was the miracle she claimed was granted. That the woodland itself granted her a wish for a child. As she put it herself, he granted her wish for a heavy price. How can this be? What did old Holt truly mean to say? If this truly did happen and Elisa was conceived by St. Wilpurga's divine intervention, Yet, if not for St. Wilpurga's blessing, then who is he? Old Hole didn't seem delirious, nor did she lose her composure. I have more questions than I can answer at this moment. What's going on here? I best hold on to this piece of paper. I didn't know this was here. An old tattered rope rests on the ground. There's also kid stories with uh, a hole. She's an old woman in the skies that uh, shakes pillows so it snows on earth. Hmm. Interesting. Tattered note. This is another prayer. Hallowed Walpurga, sanctified be thy name. I beg thou for a sign, a testimony to my plea. May you accept this offering, the remnants of thy miracle. Kieferberg welcomes thy blessing, thy guidance. Someone must be leaving these around, but who? There's something else at the bottom. Find proof of our faith. Up at the peaks. Buried within the windmill that once was. This is... That old windmill up in the mountains. Oh shit, wait, what? Oh, well, I'm dead. Fatal blow. Perish uh, from low hell. What is thy? Uh, thy is um, like an old way of saying like, like your, I think. Like that's something. But yeah. Uh, wait, hold on. What was I supposed to do here? Fuck! I'm all the way back here. Shit. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me try, uh... Ah, thanks. Yeah. Like, you see it in, like... In, like, uh... Like, Shakespearean plays. Oh no. Ah! Fair progress, yes. Hold on, hold on. This is, this is way too important. Hold on. How did I not see? Does this only appear when you pick up the... When you pick up the, the other sheet? I think it is. A door. It's locked, too. What is this place? 
A man-sized sigil appears chiseled into the door's gritty surface, surrounded by uneven scattered crevices. Wait, uh, I was there before, I believe. Oh, it was? How did I not notice? Like, I must be completely blind. I can't... I can't spam hard enough. Um... Hold on. Because, like, I'm at full health right now. I, th I think. Oh, I didn't... Yeah, it's fine. I'll get it later. Unless, hold on, maybe I'm supposed to, like, lure it away before I... Right, let's, let's try maybe... I only saw the marks and thought it was just there? Oh, wait, really? Where are you? There you go, you fucker. Yes! Without any meaning? Mm. Wait. Wait, no! Go, go back in! Go back in! Shit! What? What was that thing? I... Was I dreaming, or... I think I might need something to clear my mind. I wonder if there's something up there in that windmill. I don't know... Uh, I don't know what that was about, or what that thing was, but... What I saw in there was a ritual of sorts. There's no doubt about it. We're going to the windmill. I... Wait, um, I, I'm stupid. I could just... Wherever the windmill is, I don't know. Wait, actually, I have a map. Uh, does it show a... Oh, that's it. That's... <gasps> it's where Freya is. We were going there anyway. Let's go. What even is the mark? Eyes? Uh, I don't know. It's like... Hmm... I guess so, maybe. Maybe it's a Reggie Gigas, who knows. Um... Alright, save progress. Absolutely save. Like that. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Freyo. I'm gonna need, uh... Gonna need your assistance here. Alright, here it is. Right there! The window that once was. This is it, surely. But I can't move this out of the way. Maybe I should come back some other day. Well, yeah, look, uh, oh man, 
not. I... There she is. I'll spend some time with her. You have to go now. Bye bye. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Um, I'm so glad you made it. Uh, I'm so glad you made the time. I was curious about the maple, I suppose. Come now. I've been picking some flowers. Won't they wilt if you pick them now? Uh, I'm still playing with the colors. Papa's lending me a hand to dress the maple, and Miss Marielle and Miss Linda too. Might as well invite all of Kiefenberg to dress it uh, to dress it at this point. Why don't you help too, Elisa? Me? You could spend the night on Friday, and we could all do it together. Huh, I'm not too certain. Oh, it would be so much fun to have you. I'm not so good with that kind of thing, Freya. Huh? Oh, I knew daisies would suit you best. What do you say, Elisa? Do you want to stay the night? I suppose I could, but... It's alright if you don't want to, silly. That's not what I... You don't fancy me much, do you, Elisa? All I want is to be good friends with you, despite everything. I do too, you know? I wasn't trying to make you feel for me or anything of the sort. For goodness sake, that's not it, Freya. Oh, I didn't mean... I didn't even say anything yet. Oh, but I truly didn't mean to... You're always overcompensating. It makes you seem disingenuous. I'm glad we're friends, Freya. I truly am. Yet you keep trying to please me day in, day out. That's not what I mean to do, Elisa. We should... Yeah. I wish you'd treat me more as a friend, Freya. Rather than someone you owe an apology to. I'll be using that ointment you made me, alright? I never meant to overcompensate. Yeah, you shower me with gifts every day of the week. You don't do that to anyone else. What am I supposed to think? That's because I care for you, Elisa. Huh? There's a reason why you're the only one, silly. Anyhow, it's getting quite late, isn't it? Is everything alright, Elisa? You're red as a beet. Why, it is getting quite late. What are you laughing at? Never mind, my friend decides to be late. What happened? Um... Freya just uh, confessed and Elisa was uh, redder than my name. For goodness sake. I also forgot to... Forgot to buy the... Um, the food. The windmill that once was... Is it? She is dying of hunger, so I'm gonna need to go buy some bread and pretzels because I reset before I did that.
Uh, also, is this the point? I think this is where the date with um, with thingy was, right? Uh, can I please? Yeah. Yep. Current. Wait. Play Kiss the Rat with the Kids. Hold on, that one's new. Do you eat your pretzel uh, with or without butter inside? Uh, I actually... Usually, I, I love those German pretzels, the one that are like really salty. Like, if I have those, I just like straight up eat them. Like, just as they are. Um... But, I don't think I, actually, yeah, I don't think I ever had, like, a stuffed pretzel before. Or, like, a pretzel, like, I never really used a, a pretzel, like, as a sandwich. Yes, correct answer? Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, Elisa. I thought you'd be in town. No, I just stopped to play, uh, to pay Miss Gradwell a visit. She's been wanting to teach me this recipe, but I can't seem to find the time. A recipe? For what? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Elisa. Stuffed ones are not good with the butter inside. Oh. <laughs> I'm... Yeah, because... Huh. Well, <laughs> that, now I know. <laughs> I remember when I went to Germany, and I just had these pretzels. Like, oh my god, it was so good. I'm so glad you asked, Elisa. You see, Papa's a big fan of her honey milk bread, but... Mr. Gustav? He's got the biggest sweet tooth, you know? Now that's a little unexpected. I've been meaning to learn the, the recipe is all. Why not get it from Miss Gretel's? Uh, it's a little embarrassing, but... Papa, well, he's always said that, um... You don't have to tell me, Freya. He says he likes my cooking better because it's, um... Made with love. Oh, I know what they say. He's so embarrassing. What are you boying? I want one of these. Also, like, why does. Hold on, why is there two numbers? Like, there's a blue and a black. See you, Granny. And, you know what, let's, let's eat before she dies. Eat. Yeah, you know, it's fine. I'll, s I'll save it for later. Um, I need to have a word with you, Lisa. That's come to my attention. You went home rather late last night. Oh, for goodness sake. Bernhard and Ludwig are quite concerned about you. My apologies, Father, but it wasn't just my own fault. Whose fault was it then? Would you say... Miss Elma's, obviously. She kept me working until nightfall, as you know. Kiefenberg has no need for conflict. The town is tense enough as it is. Tense about what? The witch? You aren't... You oughtn't to make light of it, Lisa. Unless Miss Odelia spontaneously catches on fire, I know. How could such a thing happen? It was a matter of speech, Father. A rather crude one, even for you, Elisa. Oh, for goodness sake, I don't have time for this. I thought you'd be holed up in the church all day, Leb. I'm waiting for... Miss Odelia, she asked me to uh, pray the rosary with her outside. 
says she needs blessing after lending a hand in the alleys. Lending a hand? What's she doing out there? Twittering on about the witch? So I'm told, yes. You put up with too much of this nonsense, Leb. You know my answer to that, Elisa. It's my duty to play night. Wait. It's my duty to play make-believe with Miss Odelia all day. You wouldn't understand. Elisa. You'll have me fretting over you at this rate, you know? Aren't you already? No more than you fret over me unnecessarily, I'll add. Speaking of Miss Odelia, she's rather late. I can keep you company until she comes about, Lev. My good deed for today. I have a better idea for your good deed of the day, Elisa. Moving along, moving along to work and stop wasting time. Go on now. I'll be seeing you later. Work? I got a date to go to. Your, your youth won't last working on a Sunday, my dear. Mine didn't, that's for certain. It shows, I'd say. Would you believe we're still not done with the alleys? My, that certainly has taken a long time. I'm surprised you haven't lent a hand today, Elisa. It's a Sunday, Miss Bertha. We all have time on our hands. Ah, is that so? Why don't you come and tidy up my kitchen then? I could certainly use the time. Come now. It's not as though the last hasn't been working all day. Doing what? Collecting eggs? Doing whatever it is folks need, Miss Bertha, as always. You two will never see eye to eye, will you? Cat. Why can't I talk to the cat? Looking after the flowers, are you? Ah, uh, Lisa. Mama asked me to look after the hearth for a bit. Instead, you're out here playing with Leela, huh? It's so boring. I'll give it a glance at it once in a while. I wonder what Miss Linda would have to say about that, Jacob. Oh, but you wouldn't tell her, would you? Not if you promise to keep a uh, proper eye on it, I won't. I promise, Elisa. You've been spending too much time with Appel, you know? We came up with another idea to prank Wilma. Appel's over there planning it, right, uh, planning it out right now. I might pay him a little visit then. Still running about town, I see. As I do, Mr. Gustav. Weighs me down seeing you that hard at work on a Sunday. Why do you come for dinner one of these days? Oh, I wouldn't want to impose. Freya would be jumping for joy, you know that? I'm grateful for the invitation, truly. But I have, uh... Some soup. Some soup spoiling sometime tomorrow, you see. Freya talks about you all day and night. I can't. I can see your close friends. Oh, that's whatever the reason, Elise. You're always welcome in our home. You hear? Thank you so much, Mr. Gustav. It's only a matter of time until Freya brings you round. You'll see. They're both so cheery. I'm not sure I could keep up with them. Hello there. My, Elisa. You don't mean to tell me you're still working. I don't have much of a choice, Miss Brunhilde. Why? That can't be good for you. You're too yielding, Brunhilde. Oh, I can't help of a baby on the way. Those are some enviable wor- Uh, yeah. Enviable worries, Brunhilde. My back hurts. Enviable. Enviable, Miss Ariane. Oh, it's nothing worth mentioning. Moving back to 
Frivoldorf may very well be our only option, sadly. It's only a matter of time, Brunhilde. Kieferberg no longer has much to offer. I left Primaldorf behind for my husband, but... You won't be staying for long either, will you, Elisa? Elisa is too self-driven for Kieferberg. Always has been. Eh, I suppose. Wait. Too self-driven, hey? It's not as though that's enough to leave town, though, is it? Uh, hold on. Oh, it was absolutely horrifying. What happened, Miss Wilma? Those dreadful branches inside my shed. I heard nothing of the branches reaching the end. They didn't, lass. It's a mystery as to... Someone or something left the... Uh... Oh, I wouldn't even know what to call it. That is sinister, isn't it? You're fraying too much, Miss Wilma. Hmm... Which one is the correct answer? You're fretting too much. Rather sinister. It could be that it is coming from the woodland. Elisa! Why do you say that, Elisa? No reason. I'm simply going by what others have been saying, Mr. Ludwig. It was you! Oh, I just know it. Ha? Huh? Come now, Wilma. We can't be saying such careless things. Truly. But I still ought to say, if there's anything you know, Elisa... Oh, for goodness sake. I'm done talking to you lot. Elisa! God damn, I keep picking all the wrong answers, but I'm kind of glad I am. What a mess. I won't be going through here anytime soon, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, there you are. What are you doing, Apfel? Shush, look! Woman's losing her wits. Losing her wits? It worked! We did it, Lisa! What well worked, Ap Apfel? Jacob and I hit a bunch of those branches in her shed. That's your prank? Why don't you come up with a better idea, then? I'm not the one who wanted to prank Wilma to begin with. You were just as giddy about it as we were, you liar. Was not. We're too. I'll tell Miss Wilma you pranked her. I'll tell Wilma you pranked her if you do. Why you? I don't have the patience to deal with these folks. Uh, I need to save. Um... Progress. And... Let's talk to... Um... What was her name again? Ah! E Elise Muffy. I need your help, please. Whatever could be so pressing, Mindy. The boys want you to play Kiss the Rat with them again. They're threatening me now, even. Not my problem, Murphy. Why don't you go play with them? Oh, Elisa, the Relentless, I'm so tired of this game. I'll let you know if I change my mind, I suppose. It's just a rat. You see, you're my savior. Fine. I'll play Kester at for you, I suppose. Oh, Elisa, I'll give you everything I have. Gross, I don't want to stink you out anywhere near me. Blue pass, yellow pass. Oh, and what?
Wait, was this supposed- Huh? So is it- Huh? How does this work? Oh, so that's how it is. What- So my timing was just off. And yeah, my timing was off as well. Again. Two, one, go. Wow, I hate this game. With a passion. Um. Oh. Wow, I'm bad at this. Um. Score, 20. Rank, C. Damn. That was a pass? That wasn't very impressive, Elisa. Why you? Then, that's all you're getting. For goodness sake. I brought this upon myself, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'm never doing that again. Um, realistically I am, but I need to... Instead, I'm gonna go on a date with, uh, with my maid. Wait. You know what? I don't care. Uh... Dates are more important than work. Come on now. My parents here. Bye-bye. Alright, have fun! It's gorgeous. That tree... It has eyes. The tree has eyes in it. What if that's... You know what? I'll remember that, because I feel like that's probably, um, for the, um... For the, um, the notes, the notes story event. Hello, little guy. There you are, Flopke. Ought to be nice. Uh, ought to be nice being a goat, huh? No one care in the world, oblivious to everything. There you are. There she is. I'll spend some time with her, of course. There you are, Rose Marina. I didn't know you'd be back so soon, Eliza. Huh. 
I still ought to b head back to town, mind you. What are you doing standing out here? Oh, just waiting for the stars to come out is all. A little too early for stars, don't you think? I find it helps me air out my thoughts. Air out your thoughts, you say? I'm waiting for the waxing crescent. It's... Important I set my sight on what's to come. The sooner the better. What do you mean, Rosa Marina? You see, Elisa. I've dreamt about you before. About Keeperberg, too. Last night, or... I know this may sound strange, but... I didn't quite stumble upon Kiefenberg by accident. What do you mean? Do you believe in fate, Elisa? I don't know. I've never given it much thought. Then you most likely won't believe what, yeah, won't believe what I have to say, but... I've always known my fate was with you, Elisa. Huh? It's too soon to be having this conversation, if I'm honest. I meant to wait until you were ready, but... I don't understand, Rosa Marina. Ready for what? You'll know in time. What's with all this mystery? Out with it, Rosa Marina. Are you... What are you trying to tell me? It took me quite some time to make sense of it myself, but... Everything's feeling so strange and nostalgic to me. Nostalgic, you say? Your name, your voice, your home. This breeze, even. All that surrounds you. So much of it feels like home to me. That's not possible, Rosa Marina. It's you the stars told me about, Elise. I'm certain now. Never in my life have I ever heard such nonsense, and yet... I'm covered in goosebumps. I can tell you don't believe one word of what I just said. I... I think I'll stay out here for a, uh, for a little while longer, if that's alright. I promise I won't be late for supper. Alright. Don't stay out there too long, you hear? I won't, I won't. night time now let me eat a piece of bread oh I'm finally done with work for today I best head over to Miss Gretel's to see Lepkuchen Hey, little guy. Oh, what am I doing talking to a goat? Hey, he's not just a goat, he's the best goat. Is Ivy going live today? I goddamn hope not. I don't know if I can make her stream today. Pine tree this, pine tree that. I have things about pine trees around here. Get a viewpoint. Robert Peak. Wait, actually. Please. No, still. Not here. Goodness knows what I would give to live in a castle just like that one. 
Yeah, here I am. A simple maid of all work. Shunning in the distance, the monumental castle stands ephemeral and out of reach. Hello, lab. Wait, actually, what if I go to the village at night? Maybe. What's this? Oh, I can't find it. What can you find, Grune? Ah, I hadn't seen you there, dear. The bear Miss Mariel gave me. That's what you get for being such a klutz, Grune. Apfel? Miss Marielle said she made it for me. It even had a ribbon on it. it may be best to head inside for now, my darling. It's no use looking for her in the dark, that's for certain. You're a klutz, you're a klutz. That's not funny, Apfel. You have your hands full, don't you, Miss Elizabeth? Like you wouldn't know. Miss Elizabeth apple trees seem to be doing well this year, huh? Go to the broom of apples. The barrel stands unyielding despite the visible gaps between its planks. Oh! Wait. I've never seen this. Eh? You must be desperate. Do I look desperate to you? Oh, all of us were, Lassie. All of you? Why, you'll know about us in time, don't you worry. I've seen so many like you come and go throughout the years. Many like me, you say? All those years ago, had I not met him in the woods, I would be an elderly woman by now. Yet, all I am is... Finish your story for goodness sake. Find a golden maiden. It's been ages since I've been here, huh? Closed up from the main path, the old home's walls show their vulnerability to the woodland's overgrowth. overgrowth. I didn't know this was here. Oh my god. Looking to get another lecture from Bernhard, Elisa? You lads ought to spare her the earful, Rich. Finally, a voice of reason. Don't lump me in with Ludwig and Bernhard, Eugen. Elisa is more than capable of looking after herself the way I see it. I most certainly am, Mr. Heinrich. These old folks, however, you better keep an eye on them. Do you mean Miss Odilia and old Jochen? They've been spreading out her nonsense, I've heard. Old Jochen's uh, going to become a problem sooner rather than later, I'd wager. Why do you say that, Mr. Eugen? You'll see, lass. I don't. I wouldn't want to be talking behind the old lad's back, but I suspect this windstorm's non. Uh, this windstorm nonsense will take its toll on us. Miss Linda sure likes her flowers, huh? I will never have the patience look after this many. Neatly potted, potted bases in all sizes. Many bristling flowers bloom in colorful clusters. You. My Elisa, why are you still wandering about town? Is everything alright, Miss Odidia? It clearly isn't, is it? 
What if that windstorm picks up again this evening? There's only so much an old woman can do against. The wind? Against the woodland, Elisa. I hardly see a reason for all this fretting, if I'm being honest. Oh, I'm well, you, I'm well aware that you're trying to... What you're trying to say, lass. This windstorm is no other occurrence, I'll have you know. Oh, this is getting on my nerves. You don't mean to say it was the... Oh, please, don't mention it. For goodness sake. So, hold on. I wonder how Miss Odilia climbs these every day. Elma's home is rather folksy, isn't it? This red wall of hers is such a nuisance, though. Oh my god, she's hot. Um, I guess so lonely all by myself in this inn. Oh, oh, you can buy matches? Um, bandages, ointment, grape juice, Simple Perga's oil. You sure that's all, sweetheart? Goodbye, Miss Mama. Come by more often, darling. I will, now that I know. So, maybe if I... Mashak, I wonder how she keeps it in here. I wonder if I can find another, like, maiden. Like, another golden maiden. I heard it was a whole ordeal to get this grindstone down the hill. The worn, uh, the worn down, rough looking grindstone sits at the centerpiece of a resting area. Hey, Leb. There you are, Lebka Chen. You're a little too happy to see me, aren't you? Oh, I thought today would never end, that's all. You do look tired, Elisa. These folks will be the death of me, that's what. Fretting over this witch nonsense day and, uh, day and night. You know they're rather superstitious, Elisa. Oh, you're buying into it now, too. What's next? We all sleep in the church together like chickens in a coop? Elise, it's all nonsense, Lev. Everyone's losing their wits. Here's your bread, Elisa. Two bread. Oh my god, I love you so much. <laughs> Did you make too much today or something? I felt you could use a little more than usual tonight. You need to look after yourself, Elisa. Lev Kuchen's always had a talent to figure uh, to figure things out, but. Is this your intuition again, or... Move along, Elisa, before it gets late. I'll see you tomorrow, love. Alright. Wait, actually. Is it still caved in? I think it is, but just in case, let's check. I wonder if there's something up there in, in that windmill. I don't know what was 
or what that was about, or what that thing was, but... What I saw in there was a ritual of sorts, there's no doubt about it. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see the rest of this game. Two, three, four. Hmm. It seems suspicious that there isn't anything up here. I think there has to be something. Because why else would they put like a little path here, you know? It just doesn't seem right. So I think I just gotta check it every once in a while to make sure that... To make sure that, um... that something uh, will be there. I suppose I have to chop some more wood soon. Just when I'd gone rid of all those pesky splinters and blisters. Carved in age scars, the tree trunk sits bare and its, uh, its dry surface exposed, exposed to the elements. Hey, baby, I'm back. Elisa. Hi, Elisa, welcome back. I brought some bread. Let's settle down and eat. Would you like me to start making dinner for us from tomorrow, Elisa? That's not a bad idea in itself, but... How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? Last thing I want is to spend my evenings in, uh, in the outside. I'll have you know I'm a proper cook, Elisa. Never once did my sweet granny disapprove of anything I prepared. Well, I suppose I, it can't do much harm. On that note, Rosa Marina, uh, you're to sleep up in the attic from now on. Can't have you hanging around the granary and bringing all the dust and cobwebs inside. Oh, I can clean it out for you, Elisa. It's really no trouble. I've had my feel of, well, I've had my fill of running about looking for you all day, um, looking for you day and night. Oh, Elisa, I wouldn't want to be a bother. And I wouldn't want you nesting with the mice and the geckos. You're sleeping in the attic and that's fine, are you here? I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and... Did you hear that, Rosa Marina? Hear what? I'm taking the broom. You stay here, just in case. Cool, no gaki. It's you. Please spare me, Elisa. What in the Lord's name are you doing here, Miffy? I was out on a stroll. I swear, I swear my auntie's name. Ah, and you just so happen to hide behind my house. I see. Who doesn't? You, s you sneak about folks' homes every now and then too, don't you? What are you doing here, Mandy? Tell me right now or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. 
it, it, it's getting quite late, isn't it, Elisa? Best. Out with it. I, I saw her. That girl you're housing, Elisa. You saw nothing, Molly. She has like 300 names. <laughs> She's not from around here, even I can tell. You were having supper together and every uh, and everything, Elisa. You keep your mouth shut, Mobby, or I'll... Why don't you share some of that bread you've got, Elisa? I might keep quiet if you do. Oh, I should have guessed that's what you wanted. No. No. I want you out of here right this instant. You better get me a pretzel tomorrow. I'm certain Miss Lorelai has plenty of food at home. Now, sh now shoo. You're so mean, Elisa. Suspicion up, that's fine. I kind of want to see what happens when you have uh, full suspicion. Also, uh, hi. I, I, uh, does that say Vortex? How are you doing? And don't come back or else. For goodness sake, this is the last thing I needed. Is she gone? This could be bad. Yeah, this could be bad, Rosa Marina. Oh, Elisa, I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. Don't you start fretting now, too. Do you think she'll tell anyone? If she does, we could be in trouble. I know, Rosa Marina. Oh wait, Ro uh, Rose Marina. It's Rose Marina. Oh shush, I'm heading back inside. Hi. Elisa, I'm heading off to bed, Rose Marina. I can spend the night in the granary if you'd like. If you'd like. No, I meant what I said. You're sleeping in the attic. I'll meet you upstairs. Ah, uh, alright. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh. It's back to this again. Granny Hall used to love this thing, didn't she? I never truly really understood why exactly. It's been a long time since I've gone into Granny Hall's room. Not that there's anything to see there, anyhow. Mm. You left that goat in the granary, I'm hoping. <laughs> I left the door ajar so he can go out and about if he wants. What makes you think he'll stay put? Why the bed of it? Yeah. Why the bed I made him, of course. You ought to see it, Lisa. I'm not going out of my way to see a goat's hay bed, Rosa Marina. If you go, you need to make your bed too. Mm. You'll make do, I'm certain. Oh, it's perfect. I'll get you a blanket too. I can't have you sleeping on hay. Damn it, Ivy, stop playing VTube Studio. <laughs> Why not? You're not a goat, Rosa Marina. I could be a thief, yet you're trusting me with a blanket? I don't see what's so funny. You truly are kind, Elisa. I can see that clearly now. Oh, shush. I'll be glad to take that blanket, Elisa. I'll get you some matches too, and a candle. Thank you, Elisa. It's bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night, Rosa Marina. Good night, Elisa. Mm 
These are the endings, so I haven't gotten any. Collected Fireflies 1. Are the Fireflies the those Golden Maidens that appear? That I, like, because I found one earlier and then... Like... Oh no. For goodness sake. What am I getting myself into? Chris, I agreed to house orders with Marina. Now Miffy's caught wind of it too. I best make sense of this all by tomorrow. If only I could leave this town. Go somewhere far, far away from here. A place where I'd never have to fret about money or going hungry. Like a castle or a palace. Somewhere. Where I can live the life I deserve. And there is this. Where... where am I? Is this a dream? Hello? It's locked, it seems. And I bet there's something nice inside, too. I'm pretty certain this is... Uh, this is velvet. Upholsters in... Up, upholstered in luxurious red velvet, the broad sofa rests by a marble center table. I feel like I'm in the princess's bedroom. If only I could live here. Just like I've always dreamed. Ow. What a cunt. Silver key. I'm locked in here, I suppose. Can't say I mind it much, if I'm honest. It's so bright, but there's no flame. An intricately... Designed golden lamp stands by the bedroom door. Its bulb shining bright. Oh, what I would give to sleep here every night. A spacious bed stands in the corner. Its silky sheets protected by a uh, counterpane embroidered in gold thread. It, it's locked, it seems. Oh, I bet there's something nice in there, too. Uh, wait. Where's the key? There it is. Use. Let's see. Oh, goodness, so many dresses. Another key? I wonder what it's for. I think we both know where it's, what it's for. Such a long corridor. It truly feels as though I'm inside a palace. Let me see some real quick. Um see anything a blinding crimson globe pierce uh, pierces the windows glass uh, glass panes uh, tainting the room in reddish hues yeah I, I want to say 
bitch. I want to say yes. Um. Uh, game, game, yes. These changed as well. An intricately designed golden lamp stands by the wall. Its bulb emanating an eerie phantasmagoric light. Such a strange statue. The marble statue of a crow wearing a golden crown. Its nameplate reads... Whatever that says. Such a strange statue. The marble statue of a serpent wearing a golden crown. Its nameplate is... That says Azrael. It's locked. No choice but to move a, uh, to move along down the hall. I have a bad feeling about this. I actually want to. What in the Lord's name is this place? What are those things? Four keyholes. That means there are four keys I'd wager. Ow. Bandages, thank you. Ow. It's jammed. I could try to pry it open, but force it open. What's this? The keys to one dream is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in this very room, the core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold baked glory. That's... me? There's a key. A phantasm key. It's a key! This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. I do remember this taking me a disgusting amount of time. There's something on the back of the shelf. I have to reach out my arm to get it, but... Reach for it. This is... Phantasm key. It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. Different language. Can't make sense of these titles. Uh, there is another one. Phantasm key. It's a key, it will get me out of here. Such a big sofa, if only... Upholstered in luxurious blue velvet, the broad sofa rests surrounded by similarly luxurious furnish. Luxurious furn... Fur, 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 furniture. It's jammed. I could try to pry it open, but force it open. There's another key, and that was the last one, I think, right? It's a key. This will get me out of here, I'm certain. I actually want to try and lose sanity, but... I don't know, I'll try to die from hunger from hunger first, because I actually never did, um, die from sanity, from sanity loss. Four keyholes. That means there are four keys I'd wager, and you have all of them. Come on. Phantasm key, use. It worked!
funny. Where am I? I must be dreaming. Hurry now, hurry now. We're late for his banquet. What are you? Hurry, hurry. Uh. Fresh from low fullness. I like how that's what they call it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I guess I have to try again, but first I want to uh, lose sanity. What do we got here? A dream? That left me feeling a little queasy. Are you there? She's most likely still asleep anyway. No point in waking her this early, I suppose. What does this mean? Why does it change to a unicorn? Did it always look like this? Wait, does it change depending on the time of day? Doesn't seem to be working, huh? Um... Okay, you know what? Let's come back here every, like, um, whenever the time changes. Elisa. Good morning, Elisa. I would've got a head start on breakfast if I knew you'd be waking up this early. Since when have you been up? Oh, I'm always up uh, and about before daybreak. I can't sleep, uh, I can't sleep in if I try. I didn't notice you... Come down from the attic. I brought the ladder up with me last night so I wouldn't wake you. And the hatch doesn't squeak if you do it slowly, right? I took my shoes off and used the ladder to shut it back up easy. <laughs> You're smarter than you look, huh? Let me... Uh, tea is ready. Hold on. Let me go and make that.
I'm back. Ah, fuck. I burned my finger. I mean, at least I didn't spill it, so that's the important part. I'd rather burn my finger with my tea instead of spilling it. You're smarter than you look, huh? I look as smart as I am, Elisa. Is that so? Anyhow, I'm heading off to the garden. The garden? You mean the field just outside? Is it that obvious that I haven't touched it in years? I've been working like a dog since Granny Hall passed, but... Now I have you to fret about too. I can't sit on my hands forever, can I? What? You'd rather starve? Join me as a maid of all work, perhaps. You truly are kind, aren't you? I'm heading out to see what I can do about the garden. I'll call you f I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment then. Uh but first give me that. Got some bread. Oh yeah. I've neglected it for so long, it'll be impossible to dig. Anyhow, this is no time to loiter about. What's this? A pair of shoes? How could they possibly have wound up here in my garden? Oh, they're wonderful. And they fit me like a glove too. These shoes. It's as though they were made for me. All of Kieferberg needs to hear about this. And this is where the demo ends, I'm pretty sure. Yep, this is where the demo ends. Uh... What was this? On your feet, Elisa. Explain yourself. What is there to explain, father? Could you not hear yourself, lass? Praying to St. Walpurga's place of worship, howling and shouting like a... Please, old Yoshin. Words of egotism, vanity, disdain of your fellow yolk, uh, of your fellow folk. I've always known you were wicked, you arrogant lassie. A witch, witch of all, 
Uh, a witch of old holes skin. Oh, listen here, you old wretch. Old Yochen has overstepped his boundaries. I ask that you pardon him. Yet his concerns weigh heavy, Elisa. Oh, I wasn't aware singing and dancing was forbidden now, father. Your singing was riddled with sin, lass. Vanity and lust go hand in hand with greed. Your... What does any of this have to do with sin, father? This old geezer just accused me and my grandmother of witchery, yet... Enough, Elisa. Compose yourself and come inside. Your temperament is a sin in and of itself. Very well. I guess I'll repent for something I didn't do if it makes you happy. Yeah, there's something I'd like to make clear to you all. I've stood witness to this foolery. You've all heard old Yotan accuse me of witchery. That's enough, Elisa. You asked me to pardon him yourself, father, and I will. Yet I demand you folks understand this once and for all. I'm not a mere maid of all work. I am one of you. And I demand right here, right now, that you start treating me as such. Very well, Elisa, you've made yourself heard. Oh. Without a shadow of a doubt, lass. At last, he's made his move. Who are you? An old acquaintance of yours, lass. What? You're favored by him, Elise. Rightfully so. You're clad in his will from head to toe, inside out. And those shoes. My shoes? Those very shoes, Elise, are a testament of his gift to you. Who is he? Listen carefully now, my beautiful lass. Get away from me! Yours his... Well, yours is his heritage, his flesh, his ardor, whatever that means. Do you understand, Elisa? How do you know my name? His blessings, his will, he himself is writhing in your veins, lass. What do you want from me, you old hag? You must listen carefully now, my beloved. Do as I say and he will make all your wishes come true. My wishes, you say? Why, yes. Opulence, splendor, fortune. Your deepest desire is unlike any other, Elisa. I don't understand. You do, Elisa. Tell me. What is it you most desire? Me? Speak it, Elisa. What I most desire, that's... Fortune. Fortunate you are, Elisa. Deep in this woodland, there is a patron saint. Whose blissful word bestows a blessing upon the faithful. All that's required in return are three gifts made from the testament to one desire. Reach his dwelling with all of these in hand and your wish shall be granted. A womb carrier of life. Your basket is to hold all that is sacred. The tender flesh of earthly desire. The sweetest nectar to be drunk in earnest. Wait, the snake with the crown.
the two statues that was a crow of a crown and the a snake of a crown. You are to arrive in good company, the object of your affections. You are to reach the gates of his dwelling, uh, of his dwelling, carrying all three gifts. Voice your innermost desire. Surrender yourself wholly to his grace. And fortune you shall attain. For such is his blessing, and such is your desire. Listen to the old hag story. Oh my god. It is there. Are you listening? Where did she go? Oh, are you alright, Elisa? Where'd that old hag go? What's the matter with you? Oh, I, I have I been saying her name wrong the whole time? I think I have. Because apparently it's Leb Kahan. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, Leb. It's best we let her rest a while. We can sit with you, Elisa. Oh, it's best we give her some space, Jacob. I'm alright. I... I felt a little dizzy as all. Well. I can bring you some water, Elisa. As for me, I'll be in church waiting to have a word with you. Don't you start, Leb. I've already started. My, now you've done it, Elisa. For goodness sake. Wait, I'm, I'm already hungry? Fuck, I barely had the chance to breathe. Um... <gasps> Wait! What if... Um, items... Uh, eat... Uh, bread. Okay, you know what? Eat another one for good measure. Never... Can never be too sure. Go to the windmill. Go to the windmill. Now. Right now. Right now. Don't even wait. Just go. Oh, it's this bitch. Eek. Good day, ma'am. I, I was... I was helping Granny Gretel. No, you can't expect me to believe that. It's true, I promise on my auntie's life. Helping her with what, then? Granny girl gives me bread whenever I come visit, you see? She asked me to taste all the pies for the festival. Is that so? It is so. It, it really is so, Elisa. You'd best not try Granny Gretel's patience, Mandy. She's too old for that. It's Muffy. Miffy, Molly, Mubby, it's all the same to me. It's not that silly of a name. Wait, huh? Oh, pretzel. <laughs> there was just a hidden pretzel there. I didn't even know. Oh, wait. The, the plants actually move. I, I did not notice that until now. This game is made so well. Game Freak, take note. <laughs> There's two things I need to do while I'm at it. Um, no, it's still blocked off. The windmill that once was, come back some other day. Hmm. Damn it.
I don't get what this place is. Oh! Hi! <laughs> but first, before I, uh... Before I talk to her, I want to... No, it's still just a unicorn. A crying unicorn, I just noticed. Did it always look like this? No, it didn't. Does it change at night, maybe? I don't know, I'll... I'll, I'll keep coming back to it. Hello, baby girl. Ah, Elisa, I thought you'd be in town. And I was. Did something happen, Elisa? The old fools made a tremendous fuss over my shoes. A fuss? What do you mean? You accused me of being a witch right in front of everyone. All because I sang and danced on my way to Kieferberg. No, oh, I'll show them how wicked I can be. Elisa. I'm losing my wits in this town, Rosa Marina. There was that old hag too, and I... I can't wrap my head around it, Rosa Marina. I truly can't. An old hag? I'll tell you about it later. I... I'd best head back to work. Say, Elisa, will you meet me here at dusk? I can try, I suppose. I'll make you something hearty for supper, Elisa. Some eggs? All the eggs you can get me. I don't want to admit it, but she did raise my spirits a little bit. Okay, so we're, we're meeting her at dusk. And hopefully, um, Freya and Leb don't, uh, require the same thing. Don't require the same time. Hard at work in those shoes, are you? They hardly make a difference, Mr. Guido. Come now, lads. We ought to get the logging camp. Getting that maple done one day won't be an easy task. I must say, I'm not confident either. All we need is a little cheer, lad. Get the townsfolk feeling jolly again. There's no shortage of joy in this lass. As for certain. We all saw you twirling about the village square, Elisa. Never imagined you could sing. Oh, that wasn't... Wait to keep the... Wait to keep up the cheerful mood, lass. That's precisely what Keeperberg need, uh, needs most this week. I suppose. Keep that in mind, Elisa. You must share more of that song and dance, you hear? Oh. Ah, uh, there you are, Lisa. Oh, old Yotsin truly went too far. I suppose. There's no need to hold your tongue, lass. That was far from reasonable. Nobody agrees with them. I suppose there comes a time when older folks lose their mind. Now that's a different story, Marielle. I wouldn't say... There's no story, Ludwig. Elisa was singing and dancing, so what? Truly. Old Yotin's outburst was rather distasteful. But I have been meaning to ask where you got those shoes, Elisa. Oh, they're... You don't have to tell us, Elisa. You're right about what you said. We all should be treating you with a little more respect. 
Oh, but I'm awfully curious. Let me see real quick. Um, oh, I still have this locked. Oh, what is that? Hold up. That's a basket. Is that a fruit? Yeah, that. Yeah, it's like a fruits basket. Oh, my sus suspicion is at four. Four out of ten. Huh. Oh, Elisa, you scared me stiff earlier. I did? It takes a great deal of courage to put up, uh, to put those two in their place. You did well, Elisa. They're the ones being unreasonable. Miss, uh, Mctilda. They'll be babbling on and on about, uh, about it in church, I'd wager. Would you say they'll be wanting a word with me, Miss Mctilda? They might, but you have nothing to fret about, Elisa. I can assure you, uh, no one sold in Kieferberg thinks ill of you, my dear. Thank you, Miss McTilda. Besides, the townsfolk are sort of shaken by that windstorm. I'd say they'll forget all about you and your shoes by the afternoon. Well, I wouldn't be so certain. Uh, let me see. Uh, chop some wood... Help oh, Marlin with the apples. I think I'll do the wooden one. Investigate the notes you found. Yeah. I would be very happy to do that. Um, Is is Lev still mad at me? Like, oh. Oh, there she is. Okay. I'm here for my earful, I suppose. You're no child, Elisa. For goodness sake. I'll spare you, Elisa. You're aware you've said too much. I couldn't have stayed silent, you know that. I agreed it was their fault, Elisa, but... We both know... Uh... This will only get you the wrong kind of attention. Old Yochins, to be exact. I'm aware, Lebku... Uh, Lebkuhin. Apparently, apparently it's... Apparently the sea is silent. There's no real need for you to fret over this, you know? Fuck's sake. There is the utmost need for me to fret over it, Elisa. I'll keep Father Hans from dwelling on it too much. Alright. Why don't you meet me here at dusk, Elisa? Fuck! Why aren't they all at dusk? We could both use a little downtime, wouldn't you say? I'll be there. I don't think I will. Because <laughs> I'd rather go to... Um... I'd rather go to uh, what's her name. I'm not so certain I want to talk to these two. I'm hoping you have some time to think, Elisa. Kieferberg needs order and fellowship, Hans. It needs stability. You can't keep going on like this. Going like what? You're well aware of what I'm talking about, lass. Let's keep our cool, old Yochan. Elisa has, uh, has spared it some thought, I'm sure. I'm certain. Let's say I have. You ought to listen to your elders, lass. I'll kick you in the dick. Um. Or whatever dick you may have. With your old age. Oh wait, I can go down here now. Oh shit, wait. Oh my god, more to explore. Alright.
These would be for the festival, I wager. Several rolls of fabric sit, uh, sit tucked away to be used for the festival's various stalls and uh, bunting. These are all old requests for uh, Miss Marielle. I suppose some of the townsfolk still gather here. Even though she's moved across the street. Oh, how dreadful. Look at what that windstorm did to our poor alleys. It did away with a few things, I see. You make too little of it, Elisa. I don't know what else there is to say about the windstorm, Miss Odilia. Most of the townsfolk have already uh, put it behind them, so why can't you? Old Yotun is... Uh, just as concerned as I am, lass. And for good reason. Uh, here we go again with Old Yotun. And that reminds me. I can assume you miss... I can assure you, Miss Odelia, these shoes aren't... Old Wilhelm's making a rosary of my precious granddaughter Gisela, you see? Won't you please go see if it's ready for me, Elisa? I suppose. Uh, what was it? Wait. I've been told it was Freya's mother who decorated their home. I can see where Freya got her creativity from, I suppose. Wait, no. Oh! Wait, there's more- Oh! Oh no, it's connected. Okay, I see. But first I want to keep checking here because I feel like there's gotta be a, a Golden Maiden somewhere here. Ah, oh, that actually got me excited. What's over here? I stacked them so neatly uh, for Mr. Eugen, and now, and look at them now. In the corner, various bundles of hay have been uh, raked together in a disorganized pile. How did they get their wheat to grow this tall, I wonder? Fully uh, packed and golden, the wheat leads sway gently in the spring uh, in the spring breeze. Granny Hall used to have plenty of cabbages in our backyard. Several cabbages have flourished on the field, neatly ripe enough to be picked. I wonder if this does anything to scare birds off. An old shirt and a straw hat that uh, rest mounted on a flimsy wooden stru uh, structure. Do scarecrows actually work? <laughs> like, do they actually scare crows? Because I know that if, if, if a crow sees that there is food, it won't matter who's around. I should know. Fully packed and golden, the wee, uh, heads gently sw uh, sway gently in the spring breeze. Okay, it's the same one. Um... Uh, we spent plenty of time repairing the stable's roof, that's for certain. Hard at work, are you, Elisa? As always, Mr. Heinrich. You've heard about Eugen's horses, then. Folks are more interested in what happened this morning, Heinrich. What about your horses, Mr. Eugen? I'm getting a couple new ones, is all. Nothing of great importance. I wouldn't put it like that, lad. Horsepower is essential for your business, isn't it? Merchants can't lift a finger without their horses. That's great news, Mr. Eugen. For Kieferberg, too. I'll be lending a hand with the preparations. Full of promise, aren't we?
<laughs> Only the rest of the town's folks, uh, were a little more like Mr. Hainrich and Mr. Eugen. Okay, hold on. Let me go see. <laughs> Hello there. My Elisa, look at those shoes. Red truly does look best on you, Elisa. Why, thank you. Oh, you have to wear them to the festival, Elisa. Now is the time to find yourself a proper suit, or Elisa. Ah, that's precisely what we were chatting about with Freya. Oh, yes. Aren't I a little too young to be looking for a husband? Why, the sooner the better, I'd say. That's not exactly what I'd like to be doing with my time, if I'm honest. I used to feel the same way until I met Finn, you, you'll see. I'd say Freya's got a good chance of meeting her future husband soon. Oh, Miss Brunhilde, I wouldn't say I'm... You're quite the catch, isn't she? You're quite a- you're quite the catch, isn't she, Dorothea? Dor Dorothea, I, I hate this name. Oh, Freya is THE catch. Uh, in truth, I do feel the same way as Elisa. My interests lie elsewhere, you see. Oh, you don't mean... Suing. And I have my hands full with the festival, too. This really isn't the time. Oh, that reminds me. Would you come and meet me by the well today at dusk, Elisa? Why are they all at dusk? <laughs> oh, uh, yes, I suppose. Girls these days, huh? You two will come around, I'm certain. Well, now I'm running into a problem because all three of them are at dusk. Uh, and I don't like that. Okay, Elisa. Oh, wait, it, 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 hey. Okay, I can't talk to that one. I, I can't talk to her either. Wait, I, I just realized... <laughs> There's just Christmas decorations. I'm gonna charge my phone. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright. Uh, folks are starting to get ready for the festival, I suppose. I wish they didn't leave everything piled up right in the middle of town, though. Ah! If it's not the last of the- uh, If it's not the last of the moment! Tell us about those shoes, why don't you? What about them, Miss Wilma? What about them, she says. Out with it, lass. We're losing our minds here. You two-faced old hags. They're granny holes. I found them under granny holes bed this morning. It seems they were, uh, they were a gift she intended to give me, but... I can't say I'm too convinced, Elisa. What? There's no way old old could have afforded those. You, on the other hand, I wasn't aware you had the means, Elisa. And I don't, as you know. Why? But neither did old hole. So you mean, you found them under her bed? That is what I said, Miss Elma. Old Hole was full of surprises, that's true. How could we forget about the day she brought Elisa to Kieferberg? Lord knows what else that old lass was, that, that old lass was hiding, huh? Suspicion down, okay. So now... Now I kinda wish I didn't do that. <laughs> Cause I'm so curious as what hap that's what happens if like the um, if like they're fully suspicious of you. Say, Mr. Wilhelm, Miss Odelia asked me to see about uh to see her about Rosary. Ah, that old hat can give me a moment of peace. Oh, I suppose. Tell her she can come by to my workshop this afternoon, will you? I'll rustle her up a rosary in no time. In no time at all. 
I thought you were making her a new one. In a way, Les. Haven't you heard of repurposing? It'll be the best rosary she's ever seen. Huh. Maybe then she'll stop nagging me. I completely forgot about this. I would have. I, I was about to like start work. I was about to start a job and just completely forget. Also, there's an actual. Oh, oh item. I, I don't think it's like anything important, but still, I want it. What is it? What is it? Oh, toy horse. What is that? If it wasn't for Granny Gradle, I'd have to make my own bread every other day. A workbench uh, sits outside, typically used for uh, used by the townsfolk of Kieferberg to bag newly mil uh, newly milled flour. Oh, okay. It's locked, I suppose. It's not like I can make my own bread. I don't need to get in there. No, this was here. Hold on. All right, let's go to see uh, the other hag. <laughs> there you are. I don't even remember who used to live here. In its cozy nook, the old home uh, uh, waits to be consumed by the other girl. No, I I wanted to talk to her. Miss Wilhelm says you can come by his workshop this afternoon, Miss o uh, Odelia. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, dearie. Old Wilhelm has a way with these kinds of things, doesn't he? I suppose, yes. Wait, what? What's this? It makes me feel at ease, lass. I think it might come in handy. Thank you, I suppose. Uh, was that another toy horse? No, I wanted to... What was it? Grape juice. I think that's what she gave me. Yeah. Yeah, she gave me grape juice, which I'm actually kind of okay with. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. So, on. Help Linda chop some wood, help Marlon with the apples. Uh, I think I'm gonna do the, the wood chopping one first. Uh, and then all of the... yeah, they're all at dusk. So I can only do one. I'll probably reset just to see the interactions. Though maybe I shouldn't do that because... Um, I'm, prob I'm guessing I'll have to reset anyway. Look, Mama, they're so shiny. You stole those, Elisa, be honest. I didn't steal them, you... Settle down now, you two. More importantly, are you alright, my dear? Uh, about earlier, I... There's no need to hold your tongue, Elisa. The townsfolk made too much of it. Uh, that wasn't remotely acceptable. Everyone knows old Yochen uh, lost his wits. Don't you start, Apfel. Oh, Mama, can I get shoes like that too? You have ugly ogre feet, Grune. Mama, Apfel's being mean again. Can you two see I'm trying to talk to Elisa? I'm alright, Miss Elizabeth. Thank you. We can catch up later, Elisa. I'd best to go. I ought to have a word with Eugen. My goats aren't doing so good. Ogre feet, ogre feet. Apple.
Do I need the safe ball? Elisa, my mom won't let me chop wood for her. Don't be silly, Jacob. You're much too young to handle a hatchet. Can you get us some wood for the uh, for the hearth, Elisa? Hold on. Um, was there something else that I was that I needed to do? Uh, mm, I saved. So yeah, of course. But your mother's right, Jacob. You're too little. I'm not. You're a stubborn lad, that's what you are. And when they asked for it to chop it for them instead. Rank A. Nice. No. You win. Ah, I knew I could rely on you, Elisa. That's a lot of logs. Here you go, my dear. Damn, 40 bucks. Thank you, Miss Linda. this bitch. I, I thought I'd never find you, Lisa. Uh, what now, Miffy? It, it's your... I don't have food for you. Shoo, shoo. But, Elisa, it's your... My what? Your friend. The last with the funny hat. She's right outside. Take me to her, Molly, right now. My, you're covered in dirt, lass. She's so funny looking. Look at her silly hat. God, I love this art style. Angelica, don't be rude. Do you know this lass, Elizabeth? It, Elisa said she's from Primeldorf. Oh, I'm not from Primeldorf. I've never had a... Why? I haven't the faintest idea, Ariane. Ah, I'm looking for Elisa. Have you seen her? 
Lisa, do you know her? Do you happen to know Elisa? But how do you know her, lass? Ah, Elisa said she's adopted. When did you hear about all this, Mally? Oh, if you please tell me where... Look, Mama. She has a tiny... Uh, she has a tiny scarecrow. Forgive me, but does anyone know where I can find Elisa? What are you doing here, you? So you do know the last Lisa? Ah, uh, yes, she's... Think, Alisa. Think, Alisa, think. A distant cousin from Primaldorf. Why? You don't have cousins, Elisa. I do recall old Hold's mother had a sister, but I never met her. Yes, exactly! Rose Marine here is my aunt's granddaughter. Uh, it's Rose and Marine. Oh, I'm so very pleased to meet you, Rose and Marine. Oh, thank you. Anyhow, it's getting quite late. We best move along before. Ah, but do tell me, my dear. How long have you known you had a cousin? Uh, Granny Holt told me about her. I met her this Saturday. Uh, this is all very much new to me as well, you see. My, I must say, that's rather strange, Elisa. Oh, why did I say that? How did you know to find Elisa, lass? Oh, I... In truth, I... We... Aunt, Auntie knew we lived in Kieferberg. We've exchanged letters with... Uh, Auntie knew we lived in Kieferberg. <laughs> That's all uh, Rosa Marina knew when... She... Uh, when she came about to meet me, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yeah, she never visited, did she? Oh, my auntie was... Uh, of rather fragile health, you see. I do remember Old Hole mentioning her family from Primaldorf, but... Must have heard it from someone, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Ah, most certainly. From whom? Old Hole never left Kief uh, Kieferberg after, uh, settle after settling down, and... If you say her family was rather distant... Oh, this is quite confusing, isn't it? Oh, would you look at the time? Ah, I think I know what you mean, Elisa. That's alright, you two. We wouldn't want to keep you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Rosa Marina. She's delighted to meet you all. Oh god, suspicion up. Oh fuck. talking to Rosa Marina. I have to get to the bottom of this. Have you completely lost your wits, Rosa Marina? I'm sorry, Elisa. I knew you had a bird's nest for a brain, but this is too much. Uh, well... You know what you did. I'm sorry, Elisa. I didn't mean to. I was chasing after Froke, you see. For goodness sake, Rosa Marine. 
Why not let him frolic about? That's what goats do. He took the laundry I was tending, uh, right, I was tending to right out of my hands. I couldn't let him ruin your sheets. All right, well, truth is, we made a complete mess of it. I don't even want to think about Father Hans's reaction. I'm sorry, Elisa. I didn't mean to trouble you. Forget it, Rosa Marina. It's all right. I'm telling you, it's fine, Rosa Marina. I feel all I've done so far is trouble you. Which isn't a complete lie now, is it? Yet I do enjoy your company, so... Anyhow, we ought to keep our stories straight. Maybe if we tell them I came to lend you a hand with work. That's it, Rosa Marine. Alright, listen carefully. Your grandmother is Granny Hole's auntie. The one that never came to visit. That makes you my distant cousin of sorts, you see? You came about to meet me, but... We could have simply bumped into each other. And you asked me if I knew anyone named Hole. I don't understand, Lisa. How does that relate to what I said? Why, you like Kieferberg so much, you wanted to stay and lend a hand. Oh. You're a kind, charitable, loving soul who wants to help with the festival. That'll keep them from asking too many questions, I'd... Too many questions, I'd wager. I think that's a great idea, Lisa. This being said, Rosa Marine, you're going home right after nightfall, you hear? I don't want you hanging about... Uh, hanging about these folks too much. Alright, Lisa. We're making it happen right now, then. Let's go. But I do want to go back home to check on a few things. Can I go here? I can't. Um, okay. Alright, I do want to check this. Still the unicorn. Okay. I mean, I don't think I can really go anywhere 
unnatural without, uh, like, with one of the, um, like, when I'm hanging around with someone. So, yeah. Also, what time of day is it? It's afternoon. Still not dusk, so... I have about enough time to go do some shopping. Looking cheeky again today, dearie. Oh, Labkuhem. Bundle of cookies made with... Uh, different doughs. Filling and... Oh, okay. It fills up three, um, three food bars. Okay. Anything else? Some pretzels, maybe? What am I selling? I saw some grapes. Mmm. Mm, I'll come back to you. Some pretzels, maybe? See you, Granny. Is live. Damn it, I do are you live? <laughs> well, surprise today, aren't you, Elisa? My, who is this lass? I'd like to introduce you to my cousin from Permaldor. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Rosa Marina. You don't mean to tell me Hull still has family in Primaldor. She did, but... She did, but... I wouldn't want to speak on Rosamarina's behalf, but... Uh, my granny has already passed, so... I see. That's rather unfortunate. You're from a humble home. I can see that much. Oh, truly. I've always been rather... Why aren't we all from humble homes, Miss Bertha? Truly, Bertha, we hardly know the last. My people take offense to everything these days. Suspicion down, okay. Taking pity on, uh, taking pity on beggars now, are you, Elisa? There's no need to be so crude, Alma. This penny beggar, this penny beggar, Miss Elma, happens to be my cousin. Oh, would you look at that? A cousin? I don't recall her having siblings, Elisa. Of course she didn't. Can't you see the poor lass has lost her wits? Me? What about you, Miss Elma? You're being rather unreasonable, Miss Elma. Given Kieferberg such a bad reputation, why you... Truly, Alma, I must say, that's no way to welcome Elisa's cousin. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel we've been a bother. Not at all, lass. I, ap I apologize for this altercation. Allow me to introduce you. This is my cousin, Rosa Marina. Rosa Marina. Alright, I'll acknowledge that was rather unfortunate. Alright, I'll acknowledge that was rather unfortunate of me. Welcome to Kieferberg, Rosa Marina. Thank you. Suspicion down. Well, I'm completely stupid. I should not be getting my suspicion down. I should be getting my suspicion up. Eh, because I know it's an ending. I'm talking to her while I'm facing the other way. Okay. And there's cozy no- oh no, never mind. No, I'm not. Ah, it's you. The cookie lass. You know, Grune, that's not something you'd usually... You're ugly, Elise. You're ugly. Why you? Is this your cat, Grune? She's Miss Linda's. 
Her name is Layla. Oh, that's such a sweet name. Say Crooky Lass. It's Rosemarine Grune. Why is there a scarecrow on your shawl, Rosemarine? Oh, this? My granny made it for me when I was just about your age. I keep it with me uh, always because she isn't with me anymore, you see. Oh, I'm sorry. That's quite alright, Gruna. Since when are you so good with children, Rosa Marina? You're an ugly old crone, Elisa. You should learn from your cousin. I want to kick her in the face. Why, you little... Gruna. Oh my god, Ellie, stop playing things. You're playing like three different things at once. God damn. Just getting a wall of notification out there on the side. I know game capture doesn't doesn't show it, which thank God. But still. Maybe then your big nose will shrink and become nice and tiny like mine. Now now Grune, at least his nose isn't that pointy. That's it, we're leaving. Rose Marine. Hmm? You're welcome to come play with me whenever you'd like. Oh, you're too kind, Grune. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, how dreadful. You're making a bigger deal out of this than you ought to, old Odelia. What now? Well, did you hear us caught wind of your cousin, Lisa? Heard you're from Primaldorf, lass? Ah, yes, from a nearby village, in truth. And you're... She's the granddaughter of Granny Hall's auntie. Uh, Miss Odelia. Uh, you've heard of her, I'm certain. I suppose. Old Hall did spend quite some time in Primald Primaldorf, from what I recall. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I must say, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how you two met, Elisa. We met by chance. Ah, oh, but that's quite different from what you... Rosa Marina's granny uh, told her about me long ago, you see? Yes, I came here in hopes of finding my relatives. We bumped into each other by the crossroad last Saturday. She asked me if I knew of someone named Hole. Now that's a story worth telling, lass. Ah, I see. Did you hear that, old Odelia? There's no need to fret. Alright, well, welcome to Kieferberg, I suppose. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's the famed cousin. We heard all about her. We heard all about her from Ariane. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Finn, Mr. Guido. Oh wait, allow me to introduce you, Mr. Finn, Mr. Guido. This is my cousin, Rosmarina. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Just in time for the festival, aren't you, lass? Oh, I've been hearing all about it. Make certain you make the most of it while you're here. Rosemarine is going to be helping me with work all week. Making your cousin work for her stay? Oh, wait. Making your cousin work for her stay, Elisa? Doesn't surprise you in the least, does it? No, Elisa's very kind. It was a joke, class. Oh. You're very welcome in Kiefenberg, Rosemarine. It's Rosemarine. It's time we go, Rosemarie. We have much to do. Everyone's getting her name wrong, the poor thing. Oh. Come on. Chickens. Alright.
Ah, there they are. Your cousin, is it? It's a pleasure to meet you. She came all the way from Primaldorf. Primaldorf? That's a long way from here. Ah, uh, truly. I was thinking of asking you to collect me some eggs, Elisa. Give me a moment. I still have much to show Rosemarina, you see? You take it along rather well, don't you? That's alright, Elisa. Take your time. Hmm. Um, I think about it. If I did, I not. I th I don't think I checked. Uh, this part of. Or maybe I did. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just stupid. Alright, never mind. Oh yeah, can I introduce Rosa and Marina to- Oh, I can. Ah, but who's this, Elisa? That look on her face means trouble, I can tell. Oh, good day. This is my cousin, Rosmarine. Leb- uh... Lebkuhen. A cousin? My cousin, yes. She's a distant cousin from Primaldorf, related to Granny Hall's auntie, you see? Is my lying that bad? No, no, no. Stick to the story, Elisa. Keep it together. It's all in your head. Ah, uh, I'm here for the festival. It's a pleasure to meet you, Rosmarine. I'm Lebkuchen. Oh, it's Rosen Marine, actually. I've fallen in into the habit of calling her Rose Marine. A habit? Oh, uh, not a habit. I didn't mean to call it. Has Lisa shown you around town yet, Rosa Marine? Uh, not yet. I only got here on Saturday, and we've been at home mostly. Saturday? I didn't mean to introduce you. Wait, I did mean to introduce you to. I have no doubt, Elisa. She knows. It's no use. She sees right through me. I spent most of my time here, Rose and Marine. You know where to find me. Ah, thank you, Miss Lepku Lepkuhen. Oh, Lepkuhen is fine. Don't let Elisa work you too hard, you hear? Very funny, Lab. Can we find um, Freya too? Wait, who the fuck are you? Is everything alright, Mr. Tristan? Old Wilhelm's one stub stubborn fellow, let me tell you. He's not long from meeting his maker, yet still works himself like a donkey. Mr. Wilhelm's rather cheery for his age, wouldn't you say? There's a big difference between one's cheer and one's strength, sir. What are we to do if he takes a tumble? What is he attempting to do? More importantly, at least, uh, who's the last? Ah, this is my cousin, Rosenma uh, Rosemarine. Rosenmarine. She came all the way from Pemeldor for the festival, you see. It's a pleasure to meet you. Here I thought Old Hole was your only family, Elisa. Uh, no, not quite. Well, welcome to Keeperberg, lass. I hope you enjoy your festival. Ah, thank you. Did I talk to these three? This is your cousin, Elisa? Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Rosa Marine. We were discussing the flower crowns for the festival, Elisa. I ought to make one for Rosa Marine, too. Oh, I wouldn't want to trouble you. Don't be silly, Rosa, Rosa Marine. We want you to feel welcome. Be done with that scruffy hat of yours, too. I was surprised to hear you had a cousin, Elisa. Linda and Lisbeth uh, here told me everything just now. 
I still don't quite understand how she came to be in Kieferberg, however. Uh, you see... I've always known I had an auntie named Hole in Kieferberg. I heard of the festival and decided to take my chances, all. Ah, that truly is a wonderful, lass. Oh, but wasn't old Hole... Oh, would you look at the time? We're so busy. Oh, do enjoy the festival, dearie. Thank you. We're saved. Good thinking, Rosemary there. Trusting Rosemary to answer some of their questions is good, I suppose. I have to keep this up. Let me see if I can go find Freya. I haven't seen her anywhere. Maybe she's like where the well is? No, I've been there. Wait, huh? Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe she's here, perhaps? Uh, somewhere? Woodland. I had not to. Uh, I ought to wonder what that old hack was hag was trying to tell me. Oh. So that's what's over there. I'm curious. Yeah, she's not here. Can I not meet Freya? I don't know what the whole hag was wittering on about, but a chance to get what I most desire would be... Shining in the distance, the monumental castle stands ephemeral and out of reach. I guess we can do like a job or something. Fun. I want to go back to that, um... Yeah, to here. Close up from the path, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess Freya isn't anywhere here. Alright. Favorite progress? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. So, you weren't lying, Melly. I, I told you, I know what I saw. What did these two tell you, Melissa? Ah, maybe it's best we don't annoy her, Elisa. You hush it, Rosemarine. Oh, when you and your cousin play Kiss the Rat with us, Elisa? Mmm. Fine. We can play with you, I suppose. Oh, a game? You stay close to me, Rosemarine. I'll go call Grune.
I have the oh oh wait uh those in Marine is uh also there now but I really hate this mini game um two one go ah uh, wait no hold on okay I hit it! You fucking cunt. Are you fucking kidding me? I hate the timing of this mini game. <laughs> Two, one, go. Hit it. It was the exact same time. What rank did I get? Score seven. That's better than B. Mm. I do want to try again. Yeah. Let me try that one, one more time. Two, one, go. That was on me. Cause I'm used, still used to like the fast one. That, that was, that, that one, no, that I'm not accepting. Two, one, go. That is just not fair. A hundred and six. That's still a B. Shut the fuck up. That is not a B. That is an S if I've ever seen it. Pass? No, 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 no. You shut the fuck up. It's a tie, huh? Green and left already, but you can have this, Elisa. It's from the two of us. This is how you start spending your allowance. Oh, I feel bad for taking it. Well, I don't. I've had it with this game. Yeah, same. You know what? In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go do the... Gonna go do the the other game. The one the chicken one. No, that hub. It's best you had no uh hold on. Okay. Task available, I am aware. <laughs> 
Found the timer, Lisa? I'll do it. We'll do a better job if we do it together, too. Ah, yes. Alright, putting your cousin to work, are you? This old geezer. Out of the way, you feather breath. I did this one in the demo, but I still haven't done it here. So it should be pretty much the same. Chicken frenzy. I hate these chickens so much. Score 30, rank B. No, no, I don't accept that. I don't accept that. Try again. Fucking bitch. I want to try that again. I want, oh my god. These chickens are impossible! I don't accept that still. I do not accept that still.
shit. Fuck. I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't- huh? What? I can't- I can't retry it. Okay. Fucking bitch. Here. I thought two people would get more eggs. Those are mine in the- Those mine is not quite used to it, Mr. Wilhelm. That's alright, Elisa. Here you go. You two still did a good job. Thank you, Mr. Eugen. Fucking fine. Ugh. It's best you had them now, Rosmarina. Folks have had enough of you for one day. Oh, it was so much fun, Lisa. If you say so. I'll see you at home then. Alright, three romantic dates available. I can only go to one. But I'll still go to all three. Just by resetting. sake um huh <laughs> it's pretzel time elisa oh spare me maggie i waited all day elisa you promised me a pretzel i promised you no such thing I'm telling Father Hands then. Just you wait. Good luck with that, Mindy. I've already introduced her to everyone myself. Oh, my poor beggar cousin, Rosmarina. They fell for it. Every single one of them. She's not your cousin? Golly, Elisa. Even I fell for it. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. What I meant was... God damn it. At best, go let all those folks know, huh? <laughs> oh, if only you'd give me a pretzel. I don't have a pretzel, I finished all- Oh no, I do have one. Hmm, but I don't think you deserve it, so... I'm not yielding- Uh, I'm not yielding to your threats, Millie. Go keep your wretched mouth shut or I'll throw you in the well. You're so mean, Elisa. It's just a pretzel. Hey, it's not just a pretzel, alright? Pretzels are light. Keep pestering me and I'll get even meaner. You best give me some grape juice tomorrow. So I can drown you in it. Got it. I'd, be I'd best make certain I keep some... Uh, I'd keep some aside for her tomorrow. Oh, hi. Um, on. Um, first of all, let me... <sighs> Alright, I'm buying... A Lepka hen. See you, Granny. I still have enough health recovering items, so I don't really need to, like... 
Uh, I don't really need to... Uh, stock up on those because I can't really also. But... I got so lonely about myself in this end. Alright, I'm buying matches. I'm buying two. Alright, so now I have 11, so I don't need to be as stingy. Are you sure that's all, sweetheart? Yep. Let me know if you need anything else first. If you need anything else. Um. Alright, hold on. I'll be right back. Just gonna go for a bit.
I'm back. I am back. Uh, what was I doing? Right. I need to talk to people. Um. You can't be straining yourself like that, Mario. Is anything alright? Oh, Mactilda's making too much of it, Elisa. It's an awful lot of work, Mario, and you're not as young as you used to be. Oh, but what would I be doing with my time if not lending a hand for the festival? I'm certain I wasn't my youth, but I can still be of help. You could always share some of the workload with Freya, Miss Mariel. I couldn't even lend a finger. Not with this tremor of mine. Oh, uh, we aren't what we used to be, are we, Mactilda? We're not that old, lass. A summer child, uh, would do you no good anyhow. And you, Elisa? What about me, Miss Brunhilde? Old Hull brought, uh, brought her to Kieferberg in the summer, I believe. She told me I was born a few weeks after the summer, uh, sol uh solstice. How are you to know when you were born? Granny Hall ought to have known, Miss Lorelei. You were adopted, to be fair, but... Oh, but weren't you brought here as a baby? She was, so I suppose Old Hall couldn't have been wrong. I can't say it's very polite of you to be discussing such things. Uh, I'm sorry, Elisa. I was asking them about the townsfolks. My baby coming and everything. And you always take everything so seriously, Elisa. Oh, that windstorm was a dreadful thing. I see we're still blabbering on about that windstorm. Tell me about it, Elisa. You two ought to take ver you two ought to take this very seriously. Old Stefan warned us on his deathbed, no less. That's why you can't trust his word, old, old Yochen. Old Stefan passed too early, that's what. Let old Stefan rest. Let old Stefan rest. What was it he said that was so important anyhow? Nonsense, Elisa, that's what. You foolish folks will never learn. It's only natural you don't know. It's only natural you don't know, Elisa. You were young. Old Stefan warned us of the arrival of the witch, no less. That Kieferberg would, uh, would undergo many trials that we would all... Oh, for goodness sake. You're starting to sound like Elisa, Marlin. What's that supposed to mean, you? It's best we walk away last. These old folks will never learn. I didn't know this was here. Fuck, wait. Uh she was probably there when I was when I was talking to everyone in the village. Let me and let me save. Oh actually let me talk to them first. Let's go home, Apfel. Mama told us we ought to be home before nightfall today. The sun's still high, Guru, and I stop whining. You ought to listen to your mother, Apfel. I don't want to go home yet. Apfel! It seems Miss Elizabeth is uh, in a bit of a temper today, Elisa. Miss Elizabeth's in a temper? Miss Sorotel was also in a temper. That's because you refused to read, Apfel. Even I read, be yeah, even I read better than you. 
No, you don't, liar. I do too, I do too. You're the one who's best at reading, aren't you, Jacob? And with numbers too. You ought to line those two uh, bird brains at hand, you hear? Leave Elisa, you're ugly. Ugly, ugly. Says you. That's a good problem to have, lad. Is everything alright, Miss Gustav? Mr. Gustav? Eugene here is... Uh, Eugene here will have his hands tied uh, with his business all week. Okay, I did on you. Okay, I just... I, I had this sinking feeling in my stomach that I didn't. It's a matter of uh, when we're to do it, truth be told. The horses will need some rest, that's for, that's for certain. For all we know, we might have to pull those carts ourselves. I best make certain I keep busy tomorrow, then. You need to, uh, you need to feed up on a lot of more pig roast before you'd be carrying even a single log, Lisa. He's right, Lisa. You ought to make sure you, you're keeping yourself healthy. I'm stronger than I look, Mr. Eugen. Old age doesn't wait for anyone, Elisa. Eat plenty and don't work yourself into the ground, you hear? Alright, I'm gonna see... I wanna see the dialogue with, uh, with Freya. Oh! Wait, Freya's right here! Did I seriously not see her... the whole time? Goodness gracious, Elisa! There's no need to make such a fuss, Freya! Oh, it's such a pleasure to meet you! My name is Freya. I'm a friend of Elisa's, uh, of Elisa's here, in Kiefenberg. Oh, I, um, Ro Rosenmarine. What a wonderful name, Rosenmarine. It's nice meeting you, Freya. She's my cousin, Freya, from Primeldorf. From Primeldorf? Oh, you simply must come and dance with us. Ah, uh, of course, Freya. Everyone keeps talking about this festival. I'm very much looking forward to it. There's much to show you. I can't wait. Oh, I know. Why don't you two have dinner? Uh, come have dinner tonight. Tonight won't work, Freya. She's lending me a ham hand at home, tidying up Granny Hole's old bits and pieces. Oh, that's quite all right. It's such a shame, though. I very much appreciate the invitation, Freya. Of course. You're welcome anytime. Tell me if you need anything, both of you. Don't work yourself into the ground now. You too, Elisa. Did I not talk to her either? My Elisa, who is this lass? This is my cousin, Rose, Rose Marine. Rose and Marine. Oh, I could have sworn it was just you and the whole, uh, you and Old Hole. Uh, she'd always said I had an auntie in Primeldorf. Rose and Marine is that auntie's granddaughter. You're very welcome. You're very welcome in uh, Kiefernberg, Rose and Marine. You simply must stay for the festival. Of course. Oh, I'd best gather the laddies for class now. You're a teacher, Mr. Rotel? Ah. Uh, uh, I teach them some basic reading, writing, and numbers. That's, uh, is all. Alright, Mr. Rotel. We'll be on our way now. It was a pleasure to meet you, Rosa Marine. You too, Mr. Rotel. So this is where the well is. Yeah. All right. Well, now I know. All right. Now that I have saved, uh, I'm gonna go through all the romantic dates just to. Oh wait.
Oh, she's right outside. Or, no, or below. Maybe she's here? Yeah, okay. There she is. There she is. I'll spend some time with her. You're starting to grow roots standing, uh, standing there all, all day, Leb Lebkuhan. <laughs> Why, I'd make for a rather pretty flower, wouldn't you think? Okay. For goodness sake. <laughs> a little cheery for this time of day, don't you think? You're the one who's had an eventful day, Elisa. Too eventful for my taste, even. There's plenty to tell me about then, isn't there? Why, I think not. I came here to spend time with you, Leb. Now sit. Sit. Right there. Sit, sit. Now this is what I came here for. Damn, Elisa is cultured as fuck though. <laughs> I can't. God damn. Beat standing, wouldn't you say? I spoil you a little too much, I say. Not like I'd have any other way anyhow. You're telling me all about it later, Elisa. About those shoes and about that lass. Alright, alright. Not one more word about this nonsense now, you hear? Fine. Still, Elise, I thought you knew. Knew what? About what happened earlier today. Oh, it's probably best I tell you about it later. <laughs> to think you're a proper nun. More like an imp. You're truly so easy to tease, Elisa. Easy or not, Lev. You better not be hiding anything from me. You get to see you get to keep secrets yet I don't. So there is something. I wouldn't say I'm keeping it from you, but You'll think I'm untrusting, Elisa. What? You see, I've been thinking about you. I love Kieferberg. Knows you won't stay here forever. Will you? That's a definition altogether, Elisa. Seems to me they're quite the same, if I'm honest. Be that as it may. What am I to do when you're gone, Elisa? You're... How to put it... You're only comfort in this dull place? You're also very much irritating like an imp, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Am I now? Terribly so. Didn't think I could read you this easily, did you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My, I might just throw you in the well at this rate. <laughs> I might drown, Leb. Then you'd really be left without me. Well, I'm aware, Lebkuhan. You're not the one who thinks fondly of what we have, but... But? It doesn't mean we, can be we can't be together someplace else, does it? You hadn't thought of it like that, had you? Anyhow, I'll be waiting for you in by the fountain tomorrow afternoon. Don't be late, Elisa. Goodness sake. I want to go back. I want to... I want to talk to someone else, hold on. Uh, load. Load this save? Yes. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try doing, um... 
I'm gonna try doing Rosa Marina's route first. If there is a route or whatever. I don't know. There she is. I'll spend some time with her. The best girl. Oh, Elisa, they're wonderful. They suit me rather well, don't they? Her legs are so long. It's like the it's like you were made for those shoes. Or the shoes were made for you, maybe. You're exaggerating, Freya. Nothing of the sort, Elisa. You're so elegant. Huh? I always thought you were so great graceful. Even when we were younger. I'm more of a land farm mass, you see. <laughs> Made to chop wood and draw water from the well. I wouldn't put it like that, Freya. You're different, Elise. You're so confident and po and, and, and pose. Whatever that means. Not one of those folks would uh not one of those folks would ever agree with you, Freya. You always know when to stand your ground and what to say. Which is what gets me in trouble to begin with. I can't help but admire the way you carry yourself, Elisa. You're truly... How I wish I were as brave as you are. Huh? I could never talk back to Miss Wilmar, to anyone else for that matter. You are a little too forgiving, that's true. That's why they keep praising me left and right, I suppose. What's keeping you from speaking your mind, Freya? <laughs> oh, I'm too much of a chicken for that, Elisa. You'll never change, huh? Kieferberg truly is where you want to be, isn't, isn't it, Freya? I know, Elisa, I know. I'm sorry, this was rather silly of me, wasn't it? Not at all. Being this hesitant, I know it's frustrating. Anyhow, I'd better be going. I'll be home all afternoon tomorrow, so... You didn't seem too happy about what I said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Freya. I love you. <laughs> Meet Freya at her house. Wait, what? Alright, let's go to... Um... Let's go to Thingy. On, um... Let's talk to these guys first. Could have sworn your cousin was meant to be helping, Elisa. She's passing time until I need her, Mr. Ludwig. We're bracing ourselves to go on patrol, lass. Make sure you're home before then, you hear? They'll have each other, uh... They'll have each other on their way up to the peaks from now on, lads. Truly, there's no need to worry, Mr. Bernhard. I'm glad that's the case, Elisa. We must look after each other. Of course, Mr. Ludwig. Still, can't say I'm looking forward to, uh, to going on patrol every night. Every night? The folks need some peace of mind, lass. Ah, I see.
Oh, my back hurts so much. Ugh. Actually, I, another thing, I did completely forget, uh, oops. Uh, to check the, the little wall thing that changes depending on the, on the time of day. Or at least I think that's how it works. It's a good thing I reset. Still a unicorn. So, does it? Oh, wait. Oh no, it's still crying. So, does it only change when it's nighttime? Like, does it only turn into? Did it always look like this? No, it didn't. So it only changes when it's like fully night. At least that's what I'm assuming. Wait, she's not here? Where is she? Maybe she's in the attic. Wait, actually. We should check. Or maybe down here? No, not here. I guess she is in the attic. Not in the pantry. Oh, she's in my room. Never mind. There she is. I'll spend some time with her. This fest not take too long, Rosa Marina. I have work to do. And... I can't be away for too long after that whole ordeal. Uh, I promise it'll be quick, Elisa. Come now, let me show you the attic. Oh, that's cute. You've settled in, huh? Of course. This is my new home, after all. Getting a bit ahead of herself here, isn't she? Sleeping under a roof took some getting used to. I've been sleeping under the stars since I was little, you see. You did say you were a traveler. Oh yes, I used to travel about with my granny while she was still in good health. Where is she now, does Marina? Come now, sit. Show me your hand, Elisa. Those Marine, wait. Ah, I see. You can't possibly be reading my palm. Stay put, Elisa. I'm trying to make sense of it. I don't believe in any of this nonsense, Rosemarine. As I thought, your lines are very telling of who you are. Who am I then? Obstinate, ambitious, there's a certain intuition within you that's yet to be awakened. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, both your fortune and your fate are very distinct too. You're destined for something great, aren't you, Elisa? Destined for something great, you say? You're also stubborn, very set in your ways and your ambitions. Look, Rosemarine, I don't know uh, what you're wittering on about, but 
I don't believe in any of this nonsense, alright? Ah, but before you go, Lisa, I have something for you. You're truly... What is it? Here, I want you to have this. What in the Lord's name is this thing? I've told you before, I've seen you in my dreams and I... I made this bracelet just for you, knowing I'd find you. I... You're my soulmate, Elisa. I finally realized. We hardly know each other, Rose Marina. I've known for a long time, in truth. Is this about what you said yesterday? It would mean a great deal to me if you kept it, Elisa. I will. You did make it for me, after all. Even so, Rose Marine, I... I know, I know you don't believe any of this, Elisa, but... I think you will in time. I find myself believing it already somehow. Besides, you being my soulmate doesn't mean I am yours, anyhow. Huh? Things are just starting to change for you, Elisa. In more ways than one, I'm certain you've noticed. I suppose... Is she the one behind my nightmares? Is that what's... Is that what it is? It's true. First, Rosemarine turned up. Then I found these shoes and... There was that old hag I met this morning, too. Even that strange dream I had. I wonder if that's also... Say it, Issa. Huh? Won't you join me for a stroll tomorrow morning? Out at the crossroads, there's something I'd like to show you. Alright, alright. Come now. I have to head back before the townsfolk uh, lose their wits. There's a bit of a red flag going on on the... Uh, in my head now. Meet those in Marina at the crossroads. I'll eat a lepkuchen. And a piece of bread. Alright, now my hunger is full. Oh, there you are. Hey, little guy. Um, wait, hold on. It said... Uh... Hold on. What did that say? Uh... Meet Rosa Marina at the crossroads. This is not the crossroads. And me love kitchen at the bakery. I think I'm gonna do that first. But also, Rosa Marina was right there. Uh oh, here's the crossroads. Or uh, actually no, this is the fork in the road. I think it's uh the crossroads like the four way one. This game is so nice, though. Okay. Here's a crossroads, but I guess I can't do that yet. Hey, Leb. Don't you start, Leb Kuhan. I'm not explaining myself again. My lips are sealed. You can stand there looking at me all you want. She's a rather sweet lass, I must say. Leb Kuhan. I know you, Elisa. She's my cousin. There's nothing more to it. Oh, could you say that again? She's, um, you know. No, I don't know, Elisa. That's why I'm asking. Now that we got that out of the way, won't you tell me who she is? She says she's a traveler. I found her hiding in my granary on Saturday. A traveler? I'm not convinced either, Leb, but I feel sorry for the poor lass. 
She says she'll be leaving right after the festival, so it's only temporary. What has she come here to do? She won't tell me much herself. I had no intention of bringing her to Kieferberg, but she... graced us with her presence, I suppose. I had to think of something right there and then. Elise. I shouldn't be housing a stranger, let alone put myself in harm's way for her, but... I understand, Elisa. Oh, Leb. I also understand that you're telling... I also understand what you're telling me is... A, is a half-truth at best. Here's your bread. You'll let me know if you need more, won't you? I trust you all the same, Elisa. You don't have to help me, Leb. You know that. Yet here I am. Look at me, Elisa. I do trust you. I need you to know that. Alright. Stay out of trouble now. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm just gonna go talk to Rosa Maria. Ah, there you are, Lisa. It's quite late, isn't it? Spare me the earful, Rose Marina. What's there to sweep out here after nightfall, anyhow? Oh, I was keeping myself busy until you came home, is all. And Froke here was amusing himself chasing after the uh, the broom. Where did you, Froke? What's for supper then? Hi. Lamb. <laughs> oh, I made grape soup. <laughs> soup? I figured we could both use something help, uh, something hearty. <laughs> we have eggs. What about the eggs? I cooked those too. I thought we could toast some of yesterday's bread to have with them. Oh, thank goodness. Did, did I do something wrong? Egg toast ought, ought to be enough for today, I suppose. Let's head inside, Rose Marina. What? <laughs> it's nothing. Uh, Elisa, wait. <laughs> it's tastier than it looks, isn't it? It could have been worse, that's for certain. Anything tastes good when you're hungry, I find. Oh, yeah. You're not wrong. I suppose today went well, all things considered. I best keep an eye on her. Lest those folks... Say, Elisa, I've been meaning to ask you something. Hmm? Those shoes you found this morning. What about them? You still haven't told me much about them. I've seen them before in my dreams a long time ago. In your dreams? Uh, no. Elisa, is there something you're not telling me? Uh, I don't know where to start, Rose Marina. I've been avoiding thinking about it. But this morning in Kifferberg, I... It is, yeah. it is. They're finally starting to align. Huh? <laughs> oh, never mind. I saw an old hag, Rose Marina. She told me about this patron saint in the woods. That he grants folks wishes if they bring him gifts. So it's true after all. 
You've heard about all this before? Carry on, carry on. She said I must bring him three gifts. The tender flesh, sweetest nectar, and good company. Oh, Elisa, that's wonderful. What else did she say? Did she mention... Did she mention your fate? For goodness sake, Rose Marine. You're scaring me with all this nonsense. There's nothing to be afraid of, Elisa. How do you know about all this? It's an old folk tale my granny used to tell me. A folk tale? Carry on now, what else did she say? She mentioned finding uh, a dwelling in the woods. That he will grant my wish if I bring him the three gifts made from these testaments. You told her your wish, didn't you? I did, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's... Don't tell me. You can't tell other folks about your wish, Elisa. Rosmarine, you have to tell me what's going on. All I know is what my granny told me, but... I can tell you about it, Elisa. I can help you. I... I need to think about this. I'll be here tidying up. You can ask me anything you'd like. Alright. Rosmarine. You don't have to look so frightened, Elisa. This is all very overwhelming, is all. Oh, Elisa. Isn't fate such a wonderful thing? Enough of that, Rosmarine. What are these testaments and gifts? Ah, of course. In order to meet him, you're going to have to gather the testaments to your resolve. These are tools and ingredients you'll have to use when crafting the gifts. It's common courtesy to bring your host nice gifts when visiting, isn't it? Huh. Ah, there's also the trials. Uh, but I can tell you all about his folk tale later. Alright then. For now, I want to know... What is the tender flesh? What is the sweetest nectar? What is good company? I feel like good company means... Uh, the person I get five hearts with. What is tender flesh? I don't quite like the sound of it, but... Oh, you're the one making a sound bad, Elisa. The tender flesh represents your body, the vessel of your soul, so to speak. Representation of my own flesh, then. All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. Huh. There's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. It can be a, uh, it can be a nail clipping or a strand of hair. What's important is the connection between you and the symbiotic vessel. A symbiotic vessel. Rosmarine. What is the sweetest nectar? It's not as though I don't have an idea, but I don't quite like it. It represents your vitality, Elise. Your essence. You don't mean... All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. A part of my mortal body, huh? I know what you're thinking, Elisa. That could be it. If what you're inclined to bring him, but... If that's what you're inclined to bring him, but... What is it, Was Rose, Rose Marina? These are uh, meant as proof of your resolve, first and foremost. It's your determination. Mm. It's your determination that's uh, most important, Elisa. Huh. Rosmarine, what's the good company? I don't know what to think of this one. You should meet him 
When your soul is at its most vulnerable, did you say? At its most vulnerable? Granny used to say good company brings one's innermost self to light. One's true face, in other words. Those mighty net. I'm not sure I understand. Why? It's love, Elisa. Love? Love reveals all, wouldn't you say? I suppose. I need time to think. I still can't wrap my head around this nonsense, Rosmarina. That's alright, Lisa. I'll be here if you have any more questions. I think I need a moment. Bring him gifts made out of testaments. And I'm supposed to find these somewhere? But where? I think we know where. Elisa, what is it, Rosmarina? I still haven't told you much about myself, but I'll be outside in the granary if you want to talk more. I'll think about it, Rosmarina. Oh, I want to know, absolutely. Wait, I thought she was in the granary, huh? What? Well, where'd she go? Oi. Oh, wait, there she is. She was just camouflaged in the night. I knew you'd come about, Lisa. You seem to know everything, don't you? Not at all, but feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Alright, well... Who is he? You said your granny... Yeah, your granny used to tell you... Uh, this folktale. He's a patron saint, Lisa. He grants folks wishes for a heavy price. A heavy price, huh? He whose name has been lost to time is a benevolent entity. It's said he can grant folks wishes if they show him their resolve. Firstly, you ought to acknowledge his invitation to meet him. The shoes, I suppose. That's the only explanation. If you do, he will then welcome you to his trials. Trials? If you do clear them and show him your resolve by doing so, he will give you a testament. Alright. You will then have to use the testaments to craft him gifts. And go into the woods, gifts in hand, on the night of a full moon to summon him. It sounds an awful lot like a cautionary tale. Oh, but we're now finding out it's more than that, aren't we? I suppose. I have to find out for myself whether that's true or not. Alright, well... Who are you? You haven't told me enough about yourself. Well, how to say... I'm a strong believer in fate, Elisa. Fate, you say? I've dreamed about you, about Kieferberg, your home, your shoes. Ever since I was born, I've known my fate was with you, Elisa. I don't understand, Rosmarina. Those dreams were premonitions, I'm certain. They stopped the night I, I, I reached Kieferberg, which can only mean that... that I'm currently living out my current fate. That I'm currently living out my own fate by your side, Lisa. I find that very difficult to believe, Rosmarina. I know it all sounds very strange, but my granny taught me everything I know, you see. About nature, about the cosmos, fate, and about the woodland. The woodland, you say? She told me all sorts of tales from the past. About our community, about its origins, and about patroness Walpurga. Rosmarina, that's rather... Isn't it such a... Isn't it such a coincidence both our patroness... Both our patronesses have the same name? It has to be Faye Elisa. 
Ah, I'm not too sure about that. You see, some things had yet to make sense to me until recently. I didn't understand my own dreams for a long, long time. Oh my god, it's starting to be really hot in here. Hold on. Or why I could sense, see, and feel things unspoken. Those Marina. Why folks called us foul names, or why Granny uh, preferred to sleep under the stars most most nights. <sighs> Yet, it all fell into place, Elisa. As she told me, of, as she told me it would. Fate will guide you if uh, if you let it. All you have to do is trust your instincts. I suppose. Does she have anything else to say? I'm going back inside. Today was rather tiring. I'll head inside in a little while. I, w I would like to... Whisper to the stars? Something like that. Don't take too long, Rosmarina. I best get some sleep before I lose my mind. I'm starting to get hungry. Gifts, huh? I'd best go to bed. I'll make sense of all this tomorrow. There it is. Very excited about this. Wait. I'm still here. I can't sleep. I can't stop thinking about all this nonsense. Everything that old hag told me about the testaments, the gifts, about him. Well, Rosa Marina told me, too. I find it hard to believe, but maybe, maybe it's true. If I do gather these testaments, if I do find my way to him, maybe I can finally leave this wretched town and live the life I'm meant to live. Start in you, someplace far, far away. This could very well be my chance for happiness. Wait, she's still wearing her dress? Even after... Even... Even in bed? I have to at least try. I have to go to the woodland and find out right now. Find your way to the woods. Oh my god. Is there the mining still outside? Uh, she isn't. But, but it is windy out here. What is this? Small wooden trunk filled with various knickknacks. Okay.
Still blocked off. Maybe it's not out of reach. I'm not quite sure I believe this nonsense though. Shining in the distance, the monumental castle stands ephemeral and out of reach. Actually, do let me save. To progress, yes. Let's see if what that old hag said is true. I have to at least give it a try. Did I use one of my matches? It didn't. Oh, nice. Free light. Oh. Well. So this is the woodland. I ought to find him. I ought to be brave. This is such a place. I best be careful. This could be dangerous. Oh, I didn't. Didn't think this would hurt. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. These mobs aren't going anywhere, are they? Interesting. A candle holder. What is such a thing doing so deep in the woods? Ow. I forgot that was there. Um. Oh. Uh, it's not exactly what I was hoping to see, but... Sure. Maybe I need to grab... As I was saying, maybe I need to grab a fucking candle or something like that. I don't know. There's a wick. Can I light this candle, I wonder? Try! There's a wick. Can I let... There, there are candles... All over. Maybe if I try something else. Girl. Lantern? Doesn't seem like this is what I should be using here. Okay, yeah. That was what I needed to do. I just needed to, like, actually light the lantern. There's a wick. Can I light this candle? I want- You You already did! 
It's lit. Wait, no, 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 go, go, go out, get out. I've already come this far. I have to go back now, I must see this through. Wait. Wait, I thought... Okay, um... the grapes uh, so the candle is lit but I think I think that I think that's a glitch I think the game is bugged wait what I could fit through this passage if only I could do away with these mobs somehow. Because I've lit it. Like the candle holder has been lit. Oh, unless... I'm supposed to... Ow. No, I've been... Wait, um... You fucking cunt. There we go, that's how you do it. So what does that have? Just got their attention, I suppose. I'd better be careful moving forward. <gasps> what in the... Have you met the witch? She's so very eager to meet you again, would you believe? The witch, you say? Your paths are bound to cross before long, but... I have my doubts you'll last long in the black wilderness. Wait. What in the Lord's name? Such a foul smell. Moth eaten moth eaten and frayed an old dress rests in its blood soaked grave. Oh, five matches, thank you. Makes up for the amount I used earlier. Ah, I see how this works. No, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, no. No, you fucking asshole. Um... A mushroom. over here. Another one, yes! Take heed. She's taking advantage of you. Who is? That creature. She goes hungry. It's you she wants. Your flesh. The witch. 
Don't allow her to interfere with your wish. How would she interfere exactly? Wait. Her interference, she says. Fancy... A fancy kerchief. No! Oh god. It's that sign again. What in the Lord's name? There's so many. I must find a way to distract them. There's a candle holder here. Or not. There it is. Simply lighting it may not be enough. Oh wait, there's something here. Five matches, okay. Come on, grab it. A mushroom, okay. Those mobs are too far away to notice this flame. If I could alert them somehow, or bring them with me. I mean, you can. There we go. Alright. Get over here. Also, what was that? Oi, stop. Stop! Stop, you fucking assholes! Still nothing? Um... Looks like a... Doe's remain. What the fuck is a doe? I've never seen such a thing before. The pristine skeletal remains of a doe. Every bone's uh, barren of any kind of life. Wait, what if... Let me actually be see if there's uh, like a maiden or something somewhere. Oh, that's off. They wouldn't be so mean as to make you backtrack to see if there is like any golden thing. I'm gonna assume not. matches ah shit those aren't going anywhere I must find a way to lure those butterflies off that carcass wait what's this I've been spawning these scrib scribbles scattered about are these 
people? Engraved deep into the rocky surface are several familiar shapes reminiscent of human life. Do I use the other carcasses? Oh, uh, nope, nope, that's not, that's not it. That ain't it. Oh. I didn't know they had a... A unique killing animation. Story event available. Wait, ah, shit. Oh, that is cool though. Oh shit, wait, 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 no. Fuck. Come on, I found something, hold on. Oh my god, yeah, it was right there, I think, hold on. Ow. Uh, we golden maidens aren't to be sneered at. You'll understand in time, I'm certain. Why would you say that? My, you can't possibly think he'll give you his blessing. I was told otherwise. Oh, such naivety. How amusing you are, I can't wait to welcome you. What an infuriating character. What did that give me? Well... Um, all done. So what if I grab them? There, ah, see, there we go. Um, uh, but I'm gonna reset because I actually realized I did it wrong. Wait, no. I forgot about the matches. Alright. Load.
Grab these. Ow. Fucking cunts. These look different, don't they? The pristine skeletal remains of a doe. It's uh it in it's in trouble alone left in, or left intact. I've been spotting these girls uh these people. Leather purse. Engraved deep into the rocky surface are several familiar shapes reminiscent of human life. There we go. Another mushroom. They're devouring that thing, huh? Perhaps I could lure all those butterflies here to clear the path. Engraved deep into the rocky surface, so familiar shape of wisdom in your life. Okay. Come on. Wait, they're not following me. I feel like you can just walk around them, really. Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. And I didn't save, so I'm gonna have to do a few things again. Yep. Oh, that is tilting. Okay, um...
Okay, so I think what I do is this, 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 and I need more health. Okay, um, that's fine. I probably have the right idea, I think. I like to assume I have the right idea. Oh, dear God, please tell me that I. And then eat these two mushrooms. Then grab these guys and grab those. Oh, no, I don't think there's anything I can do. Um. Oh, I think I uh, made it worse. That's what I did. I guess maybe I didn't need to do it all in one go, but... There we go! Finally! Um... I have bandages. A pretty handkerchief, decently uh, embroidered and hammered with delicate lace. It may sell for a reasonable price. A dull, worn down leather purse riddled with holes may be sold for a low price. Wooden toy horse wheels now loose and rarely could be sold for some change. Oh. Oh. oh, that's just my head, you know, no, nothing big. Nothing too unusual. You've come to me at last. Don't be frightened, Elisa. Come closer. name you've done well to find your way into these woods it's imperative Elisa that you listen to me closely he's once more trying to take you away from me but that's not for long hello hello how are you doing I'm hungry as hell um I'm back yay Huh? Take this basket, now. You ought to gather the gifts in it, Elisa. The gifts, you say? Find your way to him, deeper into this grove of mine. Only then, may your wish come to fruition, my beloved. What are you? I will guide you to him, Elisa. You ought to trust his word. Your precious wish will be safe with me. How am I to find him? You, Elisa, are my kin, my triumph, my beloved progeny. What he's done to me, 
is no matter all I want. What he's done to me is no matter. All I want is you. This is like an angel situation where like she's gonna like betray me. <laughs> A straw basket. I will allow him and his pets to into my woodland once more. Oh wait. It's the old hag. I didn't even notice she was there. I will allow him to tempt you to toy with you. What are you? All for the greater good, my beloved. So that we can be reunited. So that I can bear life in my room once more. I need to get out of here. Also, wait. I'm pretty sure that voice line was not what she said in the line. So I can retrieve what's mine. Out. Stop. Oh, okay. Ah, wait, no, that's not right. Ah, wait, 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 wait what was that? Matches. Oh. When's the last time I saved? Great. Fantastic. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to do a few things again. Ow. Fuck you. Alright, items. Eat these mushrooms. Probably not a good idea to be eating mushrooms, but... Eh. Whatever works. Over this because I now want to do this puzzle again. And let's break that for good measure. I can't skip this. Yep, I can't- I can't skip this. Fuck, well...
How do I get out of here? Hold on. What? Oh shit, wait. I don't know how to... I literally can't... I literally can't do anything. I can't move anywhere. What do I do? Oh, there's a save right here and I'm dumb as fuck for not noticing. I don't think it's here I'm supposed to go to, but like, where else do I fucking go? Because I can't... I can't... What do I do? What do I do? Why do I not? Um... Am I... No, because... There's nothing I can do. Because I'm pretty sure they won't, like... I'm pretty sure they're not gonna, like... They're not gonna be attracted to, like, the, the cadavers, I'm pretty sure, right? I don't know, I guess I can try that. I wish I could skip this part. Come on. Man, I highly doubt that they'll be attracted to the cadavers considering that. Like, this is supposed to be a chase sequence. Yep, nope, not attracted.
I don't know. Where the fuck do I go? I literally cannot... Was this always here? No, it wasn't. I, re I refuse to believe that it that it was always there. In fact, you know what? I won't even die. I'll literally just I'll literally just load my I'll, I'll literally just load this in myself. In fact, you know what? No, I'm gonna go back right now. I'm gonna go back right now because I'm I know for a fact I was not there before. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. That's what I thought. Yeah, uh, any idea what those gifts are? Uh, apparently it's... Uh, hold on. There we go. There we go. Um, am I safe or... No. Nope, nope, absolutely not. No! No, I ain't. Very much not safe. Very much not safe at all. At all. Yep, there is no such thing as safety, just like real life. There we go. Uh, still not safe. Still very much not safe. Go, get out of here. All right, cool. Okay, now I'm safe. Uh, the gifts are. So from what, from what we learned, it is. Uh. Like, a piece of her body, which can be, like, a strand of hair or something. Then... What was it? Uh, then... Something else that I forgot. And then, companionship. Those are the three things, yeah. What in the Lord's name? What was that thing? I need to get a grip and go home to Rosmarine. Locked gifts menu. Alright, let's actually see this. Yeah, tender flesh, the sweetest nectar, and good company. Those are the... That's what it was. Which... Um... Gathering the tender flesh, sweetest knife during good company. Kuroke! What are you doing here? Oh. He does not look happy to see me. I thought you'd be in the granary or out in the bell. Goodness. I don't feel so good. What is it, Kuroke? I don't like the way he's staring at me. What are you...
What are you doing here? I was... I was out on a walk. This late at night? Do you know who the witch is? Uh, so far, still no. But I have a feeling it really is Rosa Marina. Or it's that old hag that we saw that was making those butterflies chase me. But I think it, it, it might actually be Rosa Marina. What is it, Froke? Come, let's go home. Let's go home, Rose Marina. I don't want to stay here a minute longer. Uh, Elise, wait. Tuesday. It's morning already. I suppose I really did go to the woodland, didn't I? I don't know what to think of all that, but both those Marinette and the whole dag, neither were lying, it seems. I had to pull myself together. It's best that I head out uh, to work for now. I'll lose my wits if I keep... If I keep... Rosmarine and Flocke. What are they doing out there? I'm actually... I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna see if I can eat something because I'm kind of hungry right now. I wanted to wait until I got out of that forest before before putting the BRB up. All right, uh, I'll be back in a minute. A really long place, me. All right, cool. Let's continue. Uh, what does alt mean? It means like like you have to, like you have to like some do something. Um, okay, five plus four. That could was like five. A small wooden trunk filled with various knickknacks. All right. I forgot to look at it. Lock, lock. Surely that must mean something, right? Like, no way they just left it like that. Like, no way they just, like, made that a changing... Like, a changing thing. Just because... Just because they could, right? Like, surely it must... It must lead to something. Hmm... Where did... Where did Rosa Marina go? There she is. You two are always making merry, huh? Good morning to you too, Froke. I picked some mushrooms this morning, Elise. We can have them for breakfast. Say, Rosa Marina. You put Froke away in the granary last night, right? Of course. I think he's taken a liking to it too. I always leave the door a little ajar, just in case. 
Is everything alright, Elisa? I mean... Okay. Um You seem to be on edge last night too. It's nothing other than money. I had strange dreams as all. I know you went to the woods, Elisa. You don't have to tell me about it, but You know now, don't you, that I'm speaking the truth. Anyhow, come along. Let's head to work. You're taking me to town? We have to stick to our story, don't we? Come now, let's head to town. Ah, uh, wait for me, Elisa. Oh. Elisa, I was wondering. And please don't get angry with me. I was at Rosa Marina. I was looking around and I found an old blanket for Bokke. What blanket? Uh... The one you had tucked away in the pantry? Oh, that's fine. I was going to use it as a dust rag anyhow. You thought I'd be mad about that? Oh, I didn't mean... You live here now, Rosa Marina. You're so fond of that good too. There's not much I can do about it, even if I wanted to. Oh, Elisa. It's not that big of a deal, for goodness sake. You be a good boy now, okay? We'll be back later. How come that girl likes you so much? He doesn't seem to be too fond of me. Uh, it's a little embarrassing, but... I made it a habit to carry food for him in my pockets, you see. So you bribe him. That's it. Oh, I can't help myself with these, eh? Say... Those money there. Didn't you ever get tired of wearing those shoes? My clogs? Aren't they heavy? Oh, not at all. I'd be- you'd be surprised. Would you like to try them on? Me? Why not? They're really quite convenient. You can't feel the ground as you walk. As if I'd be putting these away for some wooden clods. You can get you a red pair. Why you- I don't want to talk about it, Rosemarina. Oh, but Rosemarina has no idea uh, what the woodland's like. I can't bring myself to tell her about all that. I understand, Lisa. I didn't mean to press you. I'm sorry. That's alright, Rosemarina. I ought to keep her out of this as much as possible. It's best we don't wonder about for too long. I don't want to have to answer too many questions in the morning.
<gasps> it's finally open. It's best I come back some other time. Damn it. Uh... Damn it, Ozen Marina, get out of my party. I seriously need to go in there. That one's still... What does it say now? wonder if there's something up... Okay, it's the same. Because of a book club tomorrow. Didn't even begin the book yet. Bye. Have a good rest of the stream. Alright, thank you. Have a good reading. Where's everyone? Oh, do folks usually gather here? I wonder if something happened. Come now, Rosmarine. We must find out what's going on. Best we don't wander around. Oh. Oh, it is a. Uh, Mr. Eugen's horses got stolen. What? Is this true, Miss Muriel? I'm not a liar, Lisa. Yes, I'm afraid it's true. Everyone's acting strange, Lisa. That's natural, my dear. This isn't something to take lightly. I even heard some folks say they were hag-ridden. Hag-ridden? You shouldn't spread such nonsense about town, Gruna. But... Uh, but old Yochen says, uh, said the horses were stolen by the witch. Oh, for goodness sake. The poor lad couldn't be more heartbroken. For good reason. Go on now. I'm looking after the children for the time being. Good morning, Freya. Lepkuhen. You've heard, I'm assuming, about Mr. Eugen's horses? Oh, it's been awful. Everyone's been on edge. Folks don't know what to do with themselves. For good reason, I'd say, but... Mr. Eugen was so invested in his business, too. Old Yoshin's foolery isn't helping anyone, I can't... Uh, I can already tell. They were hag-ridden. Something tells me you know what that means. Lebkuhen. Ah, of course, it's when... Oh, she wouldn't know Lebkuhen. I'm saved. I suppose not. What a way to start the day. I think I'll take a look about town. Better be careful, Lisa. Folks are getting rather nervous about this. I get it, Lepkuhen. I'll be careful not to rile them up. Oh, 
How can I help you, darling? What if I sell? Yeah, not on the key item sell for anything. I really hope these aren't needed for anything. What are you buying? Roast turkey? Oh my god! Five hearts and four hunger? A hearty bowl of brothy soup loaded with vegetables and sausage. Honestly? I think that's... I think that's what I'm gonna go for. There's also this. Which gives back 50, like, sanity or whatever that is, but... Like, I think I'm more worried about my turkey right now. Bye. Be here if you need me, darling. Alright. God, she was hot. How many afternoons did I spend here washing these folks' clothes, I wonder? Kiefer Briggs washing well. A statue of a fish stands in its center. There's no music here. I think... There might be something there, like a secret. Uh, can I, can I talk to you? Taking Eugen's horses was too cruel. I wonder who could do such a thing. The poor lad was just getting his business started too. Hard to believe he provoked any kind of ill will. I doubt any of our townsfolk could do such a thing. I agree, Heinrich. I've heard Lisbeth's goats aren't doing so well either. Alright, well, we'll go have a look. Keep calm when you when it comes to old Yochen Elise. Elisa. He's very much convinced this was the witch is doing. Just what we need just what we needed, isn't it? Come Rosmarina. Let's go to the stables. Ah, good day. about that Dor Dorotea. Ah, there you are, you two. You can always ask Elisa, Brunhilde. Ask me about what, Miss, Miss Dorotea? Oh, before we do, have you heard, Elisa? About Mr. Eugen's horses? I know. Oh, the poor lad. I think my father's name is compromised, too. Mr. Bernhard's? Someone uh, put one of the horse's saddles on one of my father's pigs, Elisa. It's a sick joke, that's what it is. Sounds like it from what I'm hearing. Oh, Elisa. You're having Kieferberg, aren't you? Uh, you're leaving Kieferberg, aren't you? Maybe one day, Miss Brunhilde. But are you? We've been discussing the idea, as a matter of fact. Well, how could this happen to us? Uh, 
Ought to let them know. Uh, Auden, we Marlin. This is about the horses. It goes further than that, Elisa. Whoever took Eugen's horses broke into the pigsty. Took our pigs. Took our pig. Saddled him like a horse and locked him in the stables. Can you believe such a thing, Elisa? A vile prank, that's what this is. I need folks to know Bernhard had nothing to do with this. All of Kieferberg knows you would never... You would never do such a thing, Marlin. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. We'll see what this takes us, I suppose. We'll see what this takes us, I suppose. Thank you, lass. What in the Lord's name is going on? There you are, you two. You're not looking so cheerful, Miss Elizabeth. Oh, it's difficult to stay cheerful with all these go- uh, with all these goings on. It's so unfortunate. You have to wonder who would do such a thing. It can't have been easy, that's for certain. Now Elizabeth's goats are feeling ill too. Oh, Ariane. I'm at such a loss. Feeling ill, Miss Elizabeth? The milk's uh, giving off the foul smell since yesterday. Their eyes are looking glossy too. I don't know what to think of it. The only one who could lend me a hand is Eugen, but... You wouldn't want to trouble him, I see. It'll be fine, my dear. We'll have a word with Father Hans, alright? I'm telling you folks, this can't be good. It... It clearly can, Odelia. The lad's horse has vanished. You shouldn't believe such nonsense, Miss Odelia. It's far from nonsense, lass. Those horses were hag-ridden. That hardly matters, Odelia. I'd say Eugen having lost his horses is a bigger concern. Oh, you folks never take anything seriously. Come, Rosmarine. Let's go see how Mr. Eugen's doing. Ah, yes. Now he has a portrait? You two have heard, I'm sure. We have. Though, we're trying to figure out what happened. I'm ruined. That's what happened. As I said before, Eugen, we'll do all we can to help. We'll gather the lads and send them out to patrol the outskirts. Are we absolutely certain they were stolen? About that, Elisa. Those horses were hag ridden, I tell you. Not this nonsense again. I'll tell you, lad. There's a witch in Kiefenberg. And who would you say that is? If you're so confident, old Yochen, why didn't you come out and say it? Don't provoke the old lad, Elisa. Now that you mention it, lass, what were you doing last night? Moreover, what was your little cousin there doing last night? Uh, 
I'll ask you not to try folks patience, old Yochan. Or anyone else for that matters. For that matter. Witch or no witch, folks. Someone had to do it. No two ways about it. Without as much as a trot or a neigh. All there was when I got when I got here this morning was Bernhard's pig in a saddle. Don't rope me into this, lad. I already told you I have nothing to do with it. But what am I to blame then? The witch? Hmm. Let's keep calm now, folks. <sighs> Can't fault the poor lad for it, can we, folks? Flying Guido, and I will take a look around the outskirts. I'll go with you, Gustav. And we should ask Eugene if he'd like to join us, too. Is there any way you can help, Mr. Gustav? Keep folks calm, Elisa. And go about your day as you normally would. Leave it to us lads. We'll get to the bottom of this. You know, this game gives me huge, like, mystery dungeon vibes, you know? Like, you have this, like, small but open area. And then there's... And then, like... There's, um... There's, like... And then, like, every citizen in that area is, like... I, I feel like you get to know them, like, personally. You know? Know what I mean? That's always the vibe I got from Mystery Dungeon. Then, you know, this game has a horror take to it, but... Still. Hmm. Folks truly are on edge today. I have to be careful with what I say about town. Come join our came to join our search party, I take it? Oh, I don't think it would be much of much help. I was wondering if there was anything I could help with. I appreciate the thought, Lass. We're a bit of a we're at a bit of a loss, you see. How so, Mr. Hainrich? We can't put our finger on where to start. And we wouldn't want to search Kieferberg. Last thing we want is to get under folks' skin. I understand. We should search as far and wide as we can. No two ways about it. Even if only a couple hoof prints. Uh, we ought to find something. May the Lord hear you, Heinrich. You don't seem too hopeful, Mr. Eugen. Proper stallions don't vanish overnight, lass. Whoever did it knew exactly what they were doing, I'd say. Is... Rosemarine isn't with us anymore. Go. Go to the... The fuck is it called? Um, yeah. Rosemarine is at the crossroads, so... I'm safe... To go to the... The windmill. <laughs> you fuck yourself. Ah, fuck it. I'll talk to her anyway. Konogaki. Pretending not to see me, were you? For goodness sake, Maggie. I don't have time for this. Give me the grape ju juice, Elisa. I didn't have breakfast today, so... That's it. I'm telling your auntie you're begging for food again. 
Oh, oh, but I'm not begging, Elisa. I saw you... I saw you have a goat now. Why am I not allowed to have a goat? Golly, Elisa. You're dirt poor. How would you get your hands on a goat? Why, you... I see we have an understanding, Elisa. Now pass the grape juice or someone's getting an earful. Yeah, you. No, I ain't giving you shit. Devious. I'm having a word with your auntie, Lass Lassie. She will know what to do with the likes of you. Oh, you think you can threaten me? This isn't a threat, Mil Mindy. I'm letting you know right here, right now. Shoo, shoo. Can you consider, Elisa? Bring me some... Lebkuhin tomorrow. And I'll forgive you, and not tell anyone about the... Go away. Might be best I start giving her what she wants. Otherwise, this could end badly for me. I will not let her have what she wants. It's rather strange, I must say. Ah, Elisa. Is everything alright? Oh, you haven't heard? There was a thick fog uh, about town last night, you see. I didn't notice it either, I ought to say. The fog, you say? I wouldn't have given it much thought, but... It's perfectly possible whoever took Eugen's horse made use of it, you see. You're starting to sound like Mr. O Odelia, Miss Matilda. Oh, don't ever say such a thing again, Elisa. It's best I go... It's best I go, Miss Matilda. You know where to find me, should you need me. That said, you best keep your distance from Odelia, you hear? Old Yachin, too. There's no need to tell us, Miss Matilda. No, I don't need you. Um. I'll come back to you in a minute. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't mean to. Yep. There it is. This wasn't open before. Someone's been in here recently. Have to be careful. Looks like an altar of some sort. God, this is so creepy. I love it. I can't talk to the goat altar. No. Did I not save this entire time? I didn't save this entire time.
Yeah, I can't talk to the go altar. An owl? It looks like it's, it's an altar of some sort. Wooden Seraph. That's for the owl, I think, right? This cave. It's broken in half. What's this doll doing in such a place anyhow? It's so flimsy too. I, I could break it rather easily, couldn't I? This looks like a door. I wonder if I can get it to open somehow. Alright, alright. An owl? Wait. Maybe if I try something else? Maybe I have to break it. Get out, get out, quick, 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 Okay. Um. Oh! Wait, no! I'm still getting... <laughs> uh, is my sanity dropping? I can't tell. I can't tell if my sanity is dropping, but I really need to go and go and uh, and get it fixed. three pieces and just one pretzel no, no, no. then I'm buying uh, two of these and I'm gonna use them immediately goodbye It's still not enough. I think I might have to skip Freya's date. I think I might have to just work. Because I'm desperately in need of like healing items. No, wait, wrong way. This one here.
A deer. Looks like an altar of some sort. Items. So what do you want? You're missing your body. Wait, wait, wait. I see. It's where the hole is, isn't it? So you missed the body. The torso. Oh my god. That grape juice did nothing. You're missing your legs. An owl looks like an altar of some sort. Legs. Use. Oh my god, wait. And you're missing your head. This looks like a door. I wonder if I can open it somehow. Go! There it is. Oh! A fish key! Looks like a fish. I wonder what it's for. Someone has to be behind all this nonsense. I have a very bad feeling about all this. Get it! Get this! Diary entry 2. What's this damn piece of paper? Belief is a complex matter, as are various- Oh my god, shut up. As are its various manifestations. The human need for faith has led m many down the path of ruin. Pagan heretics, uh, covenant and non-believers, all of them plentiful and diverse. That was until a lord's word and glory rescued them from, it, from the pits of hell. The Lord's guidance, his benevolence, has purified deities and purged their sinful acts. Converted their false pagan uh, piety into adoration. For the Lord, now as saints recognized by the church, banished witches their covenants and cults to revive them as leaders of faith. Saint Walpurga herself was a born witch and later baptized by the Lord. Her soul sanctified divorced from the witch Walpurga. Saint Walpurga cannot be capable of producing such miracles. The birth of a child no less. I ought to I ought to delve deeper into the patroness's past into what old hole could have meant. For the sake of Kiefenberg and for and for all that depends on me and for all that depend on me for salvation. I must find out exactly what old hole saw and did years ago. I must continue my research for Elise's sake as well. What? If this is Father Hans writing, what does he know about Granny Hole that I don't? And why is he doing this? I've seen the symbol before, haven't I? I ought to wonder what this means. A man-sized sigil appears chiseled into the door's gritty surface, surrounded by uneven scattered crevices. Doesn't seem to be working, huh? And I... Oh my god. Um... The, the, it's still, um, um, there we go. Okay, well, I'm gonna need, um, hey Milo, how you doing? Happy Halloween, thank you, happy Halloween to you. Okay. I wonder what I'm stumbling upon here. These notes and keys. And these rituals of sorts. Someone ought to be putting these together for some purpose, but who? Who could be doing such a thing? Just finished watching, uh, Hobby Halloween? Ooh. Hobby Halloween? That's new to me. Within my reach now, isn't it? I'll make my way to that castle, no matter what. 
Depending in the distance, the monumental castle sends ephemeral and that'll reach. Ah, oh, my back. But yeah, I'm, uh, it's really funny. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Hmm. Yeah. I've been loving this game. This came out today, actually, on Halloween Day. This game's really good, too. God, I highly recommend this game. It's made so well. Um... You got the reins, Tristan? Right here. No need to fret. Thinking of helping out, Lisa? I don't think I could be much of help, but if there's anything else... I just lass. You best leave the... You best leave this to us, Lisa. Eugen and Heinrich are taking their time, aren't they? Give the man a moment, Tristan. The longer we wait about, the less chance we have of finding them, though. It was most likely some tasteless prank. Who do you think did it then? Now that's... This kind of talk won't take us anywhere, lads. We're not even sure we'll find anything out there. Alright, let's just go on this date. But now I'm more interested in that. <laughs> there she is. Spend some time with her. I'm so glad you came, Eliza. Anything to get me out of that rat hole. And to think I have to deal with those folks all day. I can lend you a hand, Elisa. Whatever you need. That aside, was, uh, Rosmarina. What was it you wanted to show me? Uh, this is somewhat embarrassing, but... Look at this, Elisa. Pinecone? That's what you wanted to show me? Ah, it's more important than you think. This pinecone is my treasure, Lisa. Huh? Granny gave it to me when I was little. Your granny, huh? I understand how she feels, I suppose. We're just the same as this pinecone, Elisa. How am I the same as a pinecone, Rosa Marina? Ah, uh, I promise there's a proper meaning to what I'm saying. Alright, alright. Our time here in this realm is rather limited, isn't it? I suppose. You see how the pinecone is covered with scales? If you think of it as yourself and your life up until, up until this moment, you can understand how each scale represents something, right? I see. Your experiences and dreams, and the things you hold dear. All those things are just the same as the scales on this pinecone. There are times when one falls off or gets damaged. And you don't feel as whole anymore, but... You learn to be without it. And find that losing one doesn't mean that you lose all the others. Oh, Elisa. This pinecone is a representation of my path. I love that face. It represents you, Elisa. I've been meaning to tell you all about it for so long. Oh, for goodness sake. 
All these scale represents the represent the path I've taken to reach uh, to reach you. And now that I'm by your side, I feel whole like never before. You see what I mean, don't you, Elisa? I do, I do. Oh, I'm so glad I could finally tell you about it. Kuroki is one of these scales too. Did you know that he's... Breathe Rosemarine. You make me feel whole, Elisa. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, don't get flustered. I'll get flustered too. Also, that is adorable. Oh my god. Come now, we have to get back to town. Before we do, Elisa. Won't you meet me at the viewpoint tomorrow morning? Alright, alright. I'll be spending all my time with you at this rate. Oh, if you're too busy, then... Elisa. Okay, let me see. Um, fuck. Meet Freya at her house. Shit. Is this something I can do? On, let me see real quick. So, Rosamine has... Almost all of them. Like, she's halfway there. Living on a fair. Freya's at one. Left Cohen's at zero. I think I have to give up on Freya's hearts for now. Because I think each of them is a separate ending. <laughs> Um... Out with it, Mandy. I, I swear I didn't eat it, Auntie. Help me out here, Lisa. Tell Molly to give back the cheese she took. Cheese? Cheese, Miss Lorelai? But I didn't take anything, Auntie. I... It's spoiled, Macy. For goodness sake, I can't let you eat that. Oh, but if I only eat a little bit... So you did take it, you... Give it back right this instant. Let her eat it, Miss Lorelai. She'll learn her lesson. Not a chance, Elisa. She already mocks about all day as is. I can't let her get ill. I'm not mocking about, Auntie. What would, you, what would you say you're doing then? Why, I'm making certain we can eat all this cheese. Oh, for goodness sake. Ah, Elisa. I was meaning to tell you. Oh, what now? Is everything alright, Elisa? Ah, of it, Marine. What happened? I saw a birdie uh, hopping about, is all. For goodness sake. My, you're on edge today, Elisa. I know, Rosa Marina, I'm sorry. No, that's alright. I'll make certain to I'll make certain to get us some more mushrooms for supper tonight. Ah, oh, how glad I am to see you, Elisa. How can I help you? Collect some eggs. No, hold on. Let me save. I can't save here. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. <sighs> let me save. Let me save. 
<laughs> I want to save. Yes. There it is. I didn't know her house was here. There she is. She's not there. She's like... <laughs> to technically inside. I'll spend some time with her. But I might have to reset. There you are. Loitering about home, are you, Freya? Nothing of the sort. I've been rather busy. Wait, in fact, I've been rather busy. You did say you'd be at home all afternoon. I was going to get a head start on the festival preparations, but... I couldn't bear seeing all of Kieferberg on edge like this. More than on edge, Freya. The, town, the townsfolk are rabid. All this witch nonsense is only making things worse, too. That's why we ought to bring some... Uh, we ought to bring some cheer ourselves. Elisa? Cheer, you say? You know better than to waste your cheer on these folks, Freya. Don't say... Don't say that, Elisa. Look. I've been baking pies for everyone all afternoon. That's... so many! Ah, uh, I may have gotten carried away a little. A little, you say? It was a good excuse to try out my mother's recipes. Your mother's recipes? Ah yes, she used to keep a lot of journals. Pursuing and baking, for making... uh, ointments... Anything you can think of. So that's how you know how to do all that. After all, I was too young to learn from her in, in person. Ah, before I forget. Great pie, was it? Huh? Please give me a piece. Your favorite, silly. It was great pie, wasn't it? Ah, uh, I suppose. Make sure you share it with Rose and Mari now, right? You baked me an entire pie, Freya? I'm doing it for all of Kieferberg. I couldn't forget about you, could I? I remember what you said about me sharing you with gifts, but... You're truly... Trying to show you how I feel, Elisa. Oh, goodness. You're as red as a beat. Whose fault is that, you... I didn't say anything that bad, silly. One more word... that yeah, one more word and I'll tell Molly about these pies. It is, eh? For goodness sake. I truly didn't listen to what you said to me on Sunday, Lisa. Wait, I truly did listen to what you said to me on Sunday, Lisa. And everything... I've said and done since then, I've meant it, so... I'm well aware, Freya. Ah, so Say, I'll be lent... <coughs> Sorry. Say, I'll be lending Miss Wilma a hand by the... in tomorrow at dusk. Alright, alright, I'll be there. You could be a little more genuine, Elisa. You could be a little less cheeky, Freya. Oh, but it's so much fun getting you all flustered, Elisa. Why you?
Nice girl. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to work at night. I don't think I can. Seems like they're back from looking for horses, but... Horseshoes scattered about, you say? Found them just past the logging grounds, but... Why in the Lord's name would anyone, would anyone remove horseshoes? I wouldn't want... I wouldn't want to lend uh, weight to old Yachin's nonsense, but... Wake up, lads. They were hag-ridden, I tell you. This isn't the time, old Yachin. We must keep calm. Thank you for your time today, lads. I'll be moving along now. I've had enough of wandering about. I've never seen him so disheartened, I must say. To think you lads didn't even uh, didn't find even a trace. We looked everywhere, Miss Marlin. The peaks, the lake. Hainrich and Tristan even followed the path to uh, Primeldorf. We we'll have to give it another try first thing. I I found it! I found it! I found the horse! It's right outside! What are you saying, Maggie? It's the truth. It's lying on the ground. Is it alive? Hey, Sai, how you doing? Happy Halloween to you. Take us to it, Lassie. I mean, it's alive. My word. Oh, the poor thing. Good grief, it's nearly dead. What do you make of it, Eugen? He's exhausted. I'd say he ran here by the looks of it. No, that can't be. We only just made it back. We would have found him. Or heard him, or... I must say, I'm at a loss, lads. They were hag-ridden, no two ways about it. Look at it, gasping for breath, ill. Look at its eyes. Keep calm, old Yochen. Think you can nurse him- Yeah. Think you can nurse him back to health, Eugen? I'm taking him back to the stables right now. I'll lend a hand, Eugen. You fools ought to not touch that horse. Lord knows what the witch has done to it. Come now, lads. Let's go fetch some water. He must have broken free from... from wherever he was being kept, I suppose. Broke off the reins and ran it back to Kieferberg. I can't think of... Nonsense, Bernhard. I'll have it said right here, right now, folks. It's best you show some restraint, old Yachin. This isn't... Old Stefan warned us about this. Oh, uh, not this old Stefan nonsense again, you old fool. We need to keep calm, folks. Arguing about this won't... Have you no memory of his words, Hans, Gus Hans Gustav? He spoke of the ill fortune we'd have of the witch. Of folks' livelihoods slipping through their fingers. <sighs> Old Stefan was a tormented lead. Wait, was a tormented lad on his deathbed, Old Yochen. And there's words to come, folks. Mark my words. What are we to do with him, father? Just wait for him to tire himself out. That's all we can do. Come, folks. Let's head back to town. Hmm. 
Things are starting to get a little out of hand, aren't they? at the village and that's later I need food um do I use this though hmm I guess I can fuck it I did it Anything but this wretched game, Jacob. How did you know? That's all you lot ever want to do. I was hoping to keep Gruna, dis Gruna distracted. Uh, alright, alright. I'll play with you two. Hooray, hooray. Two extra? No. No. Absolutely not. No. That will literally kill me, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Two, one, go. This that bullshit. Two, one, go. I thought it was faster. I hate this game. Um, no. It's a tie, it's a tie. I was distracted, that's all. Here you go, Lisa. Fit for a tie. Why you? I am in desperate need of these. Wait, don't tell me she's sold out. Surely not. God, 
that just barely brings me to half. The grape juice just sucks. God damn. And it's just hard to get any money too. Mm -hmm. It is a... Oh, what does this whole tag want now? Where do you think you're going, Eliza? Uh-huh. I need to have a word with you. What's this about, Miss Bertha? Your cousin, that's what this is about, Elisa. Bless has been wandering about town, you know? She's been helping me out, Miss Bertha. No, I don't think so, Elisa. Your cousin's been telling folks there's no thief in Kieferberg. So has old Yochen. He's been insisting on the hag riding, has, uh, on the, on the hag riding, hasn't he? Old Yochen is one thing, but your cousin has no right to be spreading such nonsense, Lisa. All right, I can have a word with her, I suppose. All right then, what do you make of this? She's also been recommending Brunhilde herbal medicines. Because she cares? I understand she wouldn't... I understand she shouldn't be doing this. I'll let her know. As long as you understand, Lisa. This is dangerous. I ought to make certain I bring Rosa Marina to work with me. Or I'll have to deal with this every day. Cover for Rosa Marina. Keep an eye on Rosa Marina. She's eager to meet everyone in town, but will eventually raise suspicion if left alone for too long. Bring her along with you to help you with tasks as often as possible, or face the villager's wrath. Hey, baby. I thought you'd never come about, Lisa. Oh, spare me. Here's your bread, Elisa. You must keep yourself fed. Thank you, I desperately needed it. <laughs> you too, Le Lebkuhen. You're looking just as tired as I am. Can you tell? You're not as mysterious as you think you are. Now that's better. Move along, Elisa. It's best we head to bed early tonight. Oh, Lord knows I can... Lord knows I can use some some good sleep. How is he to know when you hardly ever pray, Elisa? It's not as it's not as though he makes for good conversation, so why bother? Good night, Lebkuhan. Good night, Elisa. Alright. It's almost switching hour time. That's Mr. Eugen's. There's also a chicken right there. Oh. You've come, you've come. <laughs> this crow. It's speaking to me. That's not a crow, that's a chicken. <laughs> that That is not a crow, that is a chicken. You're wearing them, you're wearing them. Shiny, shiny. What's the meaning of this? Who's there? The Hex! The Hex! You're the bearer of the Hex? Hex? What Hex? The Hex! The Hex! You've heard of it. You're wearing it as we speak. The Hex? The Hex? Stay away. Show it to me. Show it to me. I have nothing to show you. Go away. Why, yes you do. Your desire. Your fervent greed. Your boundless hunger for glory. Show it to us. Show it to us.
My eye. What have you done to my eye? Show it to us. Show it to us. You wretch. The testament to your tender flesh is awaiting you in my grove. A testament? Our grove, our grove. I'm awaiting you, Elise, in my ceramic grove of wheat. A testament? Anyhow, I ought to let Mr. Eugene know about this horse. See if the crows curse. Oh my god. Is it darker than it was before? Mr. Eugen, good Lord, Lisa, what's going? What's what's got you in such a hurry? There's a horse in the crossroads. Are you certain, Lisa? Yes, yes, I'm certain. The lass says she found your horse, Eugen. Take me there, lass. I'll go fetch the others. But it's dead, Mr. Eugen. It matters not, lass. Take me there. right here I swear good lord Elisa would you tell us what you saw Elisa there were crows and the horse was are you certain this is where you saw it yes yes I am you're tired Elisa I'm certain this was just there's only one answer to this folks you're lying Elisa I'm not lying you old fool if you'd let me... If you'd let me explain, I could tell you. You said the horse was dead, Elisa. And it was. How could a dead horse trot away? Would you say? It's no use trying to reason with her, Tristan. She's lying. Oh, Elisa, of all things to lie about. And what... And what is it about these crows? It's the truth. I've had enough. I'll be in the stables. Elisa. Tell us, Elisa. Are you speaking the truth? Wait. I just realized they have a... They have a different color. So I think the red means that it's bad. And the yellow means the... Means that's the right answer. You know what? I'm gonna go for the wrong answer. There was a horse and there were crows. Then that can only mean one of two things, Lassie. You either witness the witch's doing, or you're the witch trying to deceive us. That's enough, old Yochen. Let us say there was a horse, Elisa. What's this about crows? There were crows, too. Oh, never mind. They were all around the horse. You saw no horse, you wicked lass. I'm struggling to see the point of this, Elisa. Mr. Gustav, I would never lie about such a... Can't you see, Gustav? She's trying to confuse us. You shouldn't make such... I'm telling the truth, you old...
We've all had a difficult day today, folks. We're all exhausted. Drained and on edge, are we not? Why you trying to defend your... No. Lepkin's quite right, old Yochen. Let us turn in for the night. We can come back to this tomorrow. I'd like to have a word with you, Gustav. You too, Lepkin. No need, father. I trust Lepkin's judgment. Yet I don't. I'll go with you, father. You're going home, Elisa. And you should think long and hard about what you've done. I didn't do anything. What about you thinking long and hard about your bald ass head? I can fucking see my future on that shit. That was dangerous. I'm worried about Lebkuhim, but... I have to go home and tell Rosmarine... ...about... ...what I just saw. Also, I think I'm almost at, yep, just two more suspicions, and then, and then I'm full. I'll do it. I'll go to that wretched crow's lair, and I'll do it. I'll get that testament. I'll get all of them. It's best I come some come back some other time. This is very bad. Had it not been for Lebkuhen, those folks would have... They would have found out about everything. About the woods. About what I did. That's right. I best get to that crow's grove. The testament. They have the tender flesh. I should. I don't know where to start, Ozen Marina. I'm so tired. This... It's this... This rotten pixie of a town. I saw one of Mr. Eugen's horses on the way home, Ozen Marina. It was dead, but it was riddled with crows and... I don't understand, Elisa. You should tell. More importantly, those in Marina. There was a golden crow. It said he's got a testament. Oh, Elisa, a testament. I'm... Just too much for me, those in Marina. What else do you say, Elisa? I'm so tired. Huh? I ran back to town to tell everyone about the horse and they... 
Yeah. You humiliated the mutals in Marina. Each and every day I'm treated as though I'm some wretch. No matter what I do or say, I'm always... I'm always, always... This wish of mine was in Marina. Can I truly trust him to grant it? If you devote yourself to him and do his bidding, you're already aware of the sacrifices you'll have to make, but it's... I would sacrifice all of Kieferberg if... if I had to, Rosemarine. Huh? I can't stay another day in this town. I have no choice but to find him. Uh, uh, no. Take me with you, Elisa. Huh? You're going there again tonight, aren't you? To the woods? Mm. Alright, I'll... I'll let you know when I'm ready. Elisa. You look nervous, Elisa. Mm. That's because I am, Rosemarina. Mm. We can talk about it. I can try and... No, it's alright. I don't want to think about it. Let's go, Rosemarina. Alright. Keep close to me, Rosemarina. Lord knows what we're going to find. You still haven't told me about last evening's... Whatever happens, Rosmarine, promise me you'll keep close to me. Come, let's go. Rosmarine, I... Maybe it's best you stay home. I can, but... This is dangerous, Rosmarine. That crow attacked me earlier, and I... All the more reasons for me to go with you, wouldn't you say? I'm serious, Osmanin. Marina. So I am, Elisa. Alright, alright. But promise me... That I'll keep close to you, I know. For goodness sake. I wouldn't know what to do if anything happened to her. I can hardly protect myself, let alone look after those Marina. Is everything alright, Elisa? Let's go, we don't have all night. Oh, it's so exciting. Exciting, she says. Must keep calm and think and think this through. One step at a time. One step at a time, Elisa. You have to do this. Alright, that's all of them. Nothing here. Well, oh. actually, now that I think about it, I never did get like a, a uh, another note. Oh, actually, yeah. The investigate the mysterious note mission is uh, is gone. It's not there anymore. <sighs> this is where it happened, Rosa Marina. Elisa, look. Those are horseshoes. There are so many too. These weren't here earlier, Rosa Marina. It doesn't make any sense. There are feathers scattered about too. Are these from the crows you said you saw? 
I don't know what to make of this, Rosa Marina. Come, Elisa. We have no choice but to see for ourselves. Lose and Marina. Say, lass. She must have wandered in all by herself. There's the big scary. Where in the Lord's name did she go? I best carry on, I suppose. There's no going back. Pleasant surprise, pleasant surprise. How pleasant it is to see you here, lass. I thought you were the ones that invited me, Crow. Not every lass who gets those shoes winds up here. There have been others? You're not special, you're not special. Oh, what a bitch, alright. I'm the main character. You don't tell me if I'm not special. The fuck? You're not special. What were you thinking, wandering off like that, you? I told you to stay close to me. I got a little distracted, is all. This isn't the time or the place to get distracted, Rosa Marina. You don't know what could be in these woods. Come now, we can't sit... We can't sit around all night. This is such a bizarre place. It's so different from last night, too. Their influence is rather noticeable, isn't it? Whose influence? His? Ah, of course. Whose else? I suppose... Who... I must found I must I must ground myself, find my roots. What did you say? Hmm? Is everything alright, Rosa Marina? Uh I thought we'd be moving along. I was wondering, Rosa Marina, how did you get here so fast? Next thing I knew you were already gone. Uh there was a different path. You didn't care to call for me? Oh, I did. Maybe you didn't hear me. I'm not too certain about this. What's going into her? Come on. Oh. Oh, so it's like a barrier. I thought it was like, uh... Like some sort of portal or something. Also... A crow. Crow Hogan. Acquired ring of... What? 
A ring? Oh, that's that crow's... What did you say, Rosa and Marina? My eye! You've come! You've come! Look who it is! Look who it is! You've brought me such good company, too! What are you wittering on about, you wretch? You've done well in, com uh, in coming here, lassie. So, you'd best give me what you promised. Wait, so you best give me what you promised, Crow? What he promised? The testament? The testament. Where is it, Crow? Come a little further into my grove, lass. Why, you little... I didn't hear about this. Show it to me, show it to me. What is she to show you, Crow? Hey, give me back that ring, you. Show me how far those ruby shoes will take you. All that you desire, lass. It's all so close, yet so far. You could at least tell me your name, Crow, if you have one. That's a secret, that's a secret. Why, you wretched bird, that doesn't answer my... Enough chatting, enough chatting. Come find me if you'd like to know more. Come find me, come find me. I suppose... I suppose we ought to go find him. What's going into you, Rosa Marine? You're not yourself. What do you mean? Oh, to hell with it. Let's go find that wretched bird. I don't think we should trust that crow. Alright, out with it, Rosa Marina. You haven't been your son since, since we got here. I'm a little nervous is all. So am I, but you're... It's best we don't get distracted now. It may be she truly is just nervous, but... She's rather cold, isn't she? Finding that crow in here is going to be rather... It's a matter of following his trail, I'd say. Whichever the trees don't move, that ought to lead us to him. You seem to know quite a bit about all this. Uh... I tend to know a great deal about things, don't I? This doesn't feel right at all. She won't even say my name. I'll deal with Rosa and Marina later. Wait, what's this? This well is rather deep, isn't it? Not very responsive, is she? A narrow brick well reaches deep into the earth's depths. Its walls cracked and shriveled. I feel like that's not Rosa Marina. I feel like that's someone else entirely. Or something else. Ow. It's a good thing I saved. Um... Um... Game? Uh... Game? Game? Um, game, game, I, it's, I, I can't, Th there we go.
Wait, ow. Let me eat that fucking turkey. I might as well at this point. Eat. Alright. That's a full heal. What the fuck? How did you hit? I don't know. We always keep our promises, lass. There's nothing to fear. I'm yet to see it happen, Crow. Fear not, fear not. Say, you're one of that Golden Crow's crooks, aren't you? A crook, she says. A crook. What else am I to call you? Birdie, birdie. Oh, for goodness sake. What's this? An acorn. Wait, no, 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 you're not. There you are, you fucking asshole. Oh, I thought we wouldn't see the end of it. Come now, doesn't matter, let's get out of here. I'm not sure it's that easy. Huh? No, it's nothing, let's go. Got the ring of you over there. I'll do it as a marine later. Oh. Um, is this a. Uh... I've already come this far, it's too late to head back. I must see this through. Okay. Five matches, cool. Tell me, Crow, where are we exactly? I'll tell you nothing. I'll tell you nothing. Oh, why do I bother? This is my lord's realm. Where else could we be? So you do know where we are. I never said I didn't, did I? I suppose not. This cunt. Some of these look like they have nests inside. Several oddly shaped yet neatly carved ceramic pots and vases rest on the ground. A narrow uh, brick well reaches deep into the earth's pit. Wait, actually, I just realized this is here. Ah, this is where the ring goes. That ring we found. Would you say it could go in here over the marina? He did steal it from us, after all. Rather clever, isn't she? I don't... Either she isn't Rosa Marine or Rosa Marine is the witch or like or someone who knows a bit too much about the witch you will be pleased you will be pleased where's the testament come further last come further oh i've had it with you either tell me where to find it or get out of my sight it's best you don't speak to him like that. Huh? All the answers you seek lie deeper within these woods, lassie. Will you give me the tender flesh then? Meet me in the wheat field. Show me your resolution. The wheat field? You have my word, you have my word. That wretched bird's playing with me. A wheat field. It's nothing. 
We have to go after him. She's not nervous. She's hiding something. Can't interact with her anymore. So it's true, so it's true. I'll never get used to you feathered rats screeching. She's here, she's here. It's best we move along. She brought the witch, she brought the witch. Yep, I had a feeling. What are they going on about now, Rose and Marina? You're an hour later, witch. You have no hand in this grove. You've got the wrong last, crows. Now let, now let us through. I suppose it's because of the hat. You're in our lair, the lair of Lord, the lair of Lord, the lair of Lord. All right. Do you know who that is, Rose and Marina? You know him, too. He's a merf merciful Marquis. That Golden Crow's name. It's best we move along now. They're just freely able to say it. Thank you. I'm sorry. What for, Rosa Marina? I'm aware I'm a little antsy. But this place makes me nervous, you see. That's alright, I suppose. I'm not too pleased to be here either, but... But? Can't tell her I was hoping she'd be a little more supportive. I'm not even certain what I was expecting by bringing her here. Is everything alright? It's best we stick together, Rosa and Marina. Oh, <gasps> yes! How I love you, naive sheep. Following his blissful word. Into this moonless hellfire of yours? What are you? We all fed his gluttony, one after the other. Our, our sins unearthed made him uh, made into a spectacle. For fuck's sake, our sins unearthed made into a spectacle spectacle for all to see. Who is he? Your fate as one of us is sealed, you foolish girl. What in the Lord's name is she wittering on about? Are these all people who, like... Who, like, followed in his footsteps? And so now... And so now they turn into whatever they are? I've been meaning to tell you. What is it, Rosa Marina? It's best you don't trust anyone you meet here. Or even anything you see in these woods. Why is that? This truly is the path to reach your dreams. I... I wouldn't lie to you about such a thing. But I ought to say... This might take more from you than you're anticipating. Why are you telling me this now, Rosa Marina? It might take more from me than I anticipate. I see you've taken the Marquis' invitation. It's rather rude to arrive in such in such good company, however. To whom? You know who. You know who. To him. That's who the good company is for. Not for his Marquis. I'm yet to understand what his Marquis nonsense is about. Not nonsense, not nonsense. Oh, shush, you feathered rat.
Up ahead, up ahead. What's up ahead, Crow? Lord, Lord. Can't you give it a, a rest with the squawking? If you give it a rest with your own whining. Oh, I've had it with you and your... Lord Fuckface is up ahead, right beyond these walls. Why, you... This place is nothing but walls. You best find your way out, then. I can't... Um... Oh, yes, 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 yes! Get over here. You've met them. You've met them. You're mocking me, you... So are they, those wretched blackbirds, all of them, he has despicable vassals. What are you talking about? Fuckface, his faithful crow. Don't trust him, regardless of how friendly he appears. As if I trust that feathered rat. Acquired hearty soup, ooh nice. to go up here now. An offering, an offering. What are you going on about, Crow? Is she the one? The offering? I don't recall ever promising you lot anything. It's best we move along. It's a shame she doesn't have much meat on her bones. You don't mean... The offering, the offering. What's that? What the fuck happened? Huh? I can't... Ah, uh, okay. Wait, what? Hold on, I have five matches, cool. What the fuck? Leather purse. I need food. Um, the acorns recover one. One health. I'll make use of it. Acorns are basically completely useless. So that's how the. So that's how the those work. Okay, so basically they come at you from whatever direction. I see. Interesting. Okay. Shit. There you go. Run. Alright. You get to meet him. You get to meet him. For goodness sake. These crows truly enjoy mocking us, don't they? You'll enjoy his company, I'm certain. And why would you say such a thing? Lord Fuckface does. Lord Cunt does. It's no wonder he does, crow. How do you know that, Rosen Marina? She's the witch, she's the witch. Oh, for goodness sake. Why is it I have to listen to this nonsense everywhere I go? Come, Rosa Marina, I've had enough of this foolery. Fuck. No, you don't. No. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, shit.
Ow. I don't know what I just got. Um... An acorn. Okay. I'll eat it. Because I need that help. Okay. Another acorn, which I'm gonna need, like, right now. to see where these things are. Ow. Ah. Game. Okay. Wow, I hated that one. Um... He sure likes to be chased around, huh? Come now. Let's go before he decides to fly away again. You can fly away. Uh, okay. Maybe I should not have saved over that. Um, it's fine. Rose slate. Oh, this is gonna be progression, isn't it? What's this stone slab? Uh. Oh no, more of these. Fuck me, man. I must find a way to open all of these. Seems to be... Uh, seems to me something's supposed to fit in here. But what? I think we know what. Where is it? There it is. Crow slate. What's this stone slab? You know what it is. Hello, motherfucker. Fancy seeing you. Fancy seeing you. I still don't understand what you want from me, Crow. Your resolve. Your resolve. I'll have plenty of that. Don't provoke him. Provoke me. Provoke me. Follow your instincts, lass. Pay no heed to this creature you brought along. She's no creature, you wretch. Yet, since you insist... What did you do to those horses? You've taken them from Kiefenberg, haven't you? Far from the truth, far from the truth. Oh, spare me. That old geezer's offering wasn't meant for me, Wasn't meant for me, Lord... Vri. It was meant for her. What are you... An offering, an offering. That old geezer. What are you talking about, Crow? That witch didn't ride... Didn't ride those horses all by herself, lass. I'm not certain I follow, Crow. Pity you didn't get to enjoy it. Pity you didn't get to enjoy it. What's this wretch talking about, Rosemarine? 
Find me in the wheat field. In the wheat field. This is the wheat field. Wait, I still have... He's not one to sit and chat, is he? I suppose not. Commodore's in right there. We'd best get going. I still have plenty of questions, but I'd best keep them to myself for now. I don't know how I dodged that. I don't know how I dodged that. Let me go and see real quick, right? Maybe there's... No, you do not. How am I still... How did I dodge all of those? What's the stone slab? You know what it is. We've used it. Uh... Uh, and I don't have any more, so I'm gonna need to go and... Wait, actually, I... Retrieve item? Yes. Ah, okay. I couldn't dodge them forever, I guess. Seems to me they're supposed to fit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cross slate! Alright. There she is! I was looking for you everywhere. Ah, how long has it been, I wonder? Tell me, how long has it been? Since when? Since you were bamboozled by one of us. Why you? I'm not like the others. I'm not one to share my sorrows. You'll be joining us soon enough, whether you like it or not. Out of my sight, you. Look at your face. Look at your face. For goodness sake. Everything here is infuriating. Surely this is the wheat field. Um, also, why did... Save in progress? Yes. I ought to go find Rosa Marina. She's right there. You're just going slightly ahead of her. Impressive, lass. Impressive, lass. What's going into you, Rosa Marine? Who's Rosa Marine? Who's Rosa Marine? Ever since we got here, you haven't... Who's Rosa Marine? Who's Rosa Marine? Wait, Rosa Marine? Who's Rosa Marine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
that's not what she said in the guide. Isn't oh well. For goodness sake, I can't even hear my own thoughts. You're just in time for ten the tender flesh, lass. The tender flesh? That's the testament, the testament. My eye. The tender flesh. The tender flesh. Wait, don't come any closer. We're rather peckish. Rather peckish. I'm telling you to stay away from me. Could you eat a horse? Could you eat a horse? No, wait. May thy flesh serve him. May thy flesh serve him. Wheat Testament. Huh? Wait, did that say anything? It just skipped randomly. Is this the flesh? My own hair. A part of me. My mortal body. Just like Rosa Marina told me. Oh, I must find her. Lord knows what those crows did to her. Can you hear it, Elisa? The woodland, my grove, it's aching. What are you saying, Rosa Marina? You've lost your wits the moment we got here. Even under their influence, it's still... I'm serious, Rosa Marina. I'm serious, Rosa Marina. That's enough. It's aching for what was taken from its... Bossom, uh, Elisa. Now that you're here, it's reacting to you. I still don't understand, Rosemarine. What are... Can you hear it? Hear what? These roots. The earth. They'll guide you to your rightful place, Elisa. I don't have time for this nonsense, Rosa Marina. I've done what I came here to do. We ought to leave. To the womb, Elisa. Where you were conceived. Where you will go to meet your fate. They're not listening. To think he's once more trying to take you away from me. Turned my bosom into this parched wasteland. And yet this womb of mine still responds to your presence at the same time at, at this all the same. Hey Dakitsu, how you doing? I'll bring you home, Elisa. I'll do everything in my power to Take my hand. Couldn't watch any of your streams for a bit. Sorry, you literally missed absolutely nothing. Like, there is literally nothing you miss. Because I didn't do much of anything besides watching One Piece. What in the... I will bring you home, Elisa. By the way, really recommend Pokemon Too Many Types. I've been meaning to play that. I've been meaning to play that, actually. Either you Nuzlocke it or not. I don't think I'm gonna Nuzlocke it, but... I, I, I have been meaning to play that.
I will bring you home, Elisa. Come with me, Rosa Marina. We have to get you we have to get out of here. Oh, uh, who's a good doggo? You are. You are you are the best doggo. If you know you'd let me process what was happening. Uh wait, when did I save? Nuzlocke is just pain. I mean, I don't mind doing a Nuzlocke of it, but I can't imagine I... Like, I can't... I can't really imagine doing it blind. Uh, been trying to soul link with a friend. So far with the fear of gym 5. Oh, nice. I can't skip this. I can't skip this dialogue. Like 60 plus types and it's just a pain to remember it, yeah. Yeah, there's just a random dialogue box that appears before uh... Okay, you know what? Save, because that's just a pain. Uh, I head back to bed. Uh, good night and good luck. Thank you. Please tell me I can skip this. Please, I beg you. Nope. No, I cannot. God damn it. Like, I can see that this is like, you know, an important scene and like it... It should, uh... You know... It be savored, but like... It, you know... Once you see it once, you don't really need to see it again. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Uh, wait. I wasn't... Wait, I wasn't able to, to outrun it. Do I have to go to the side, maybe? That was easy to avoid. gonna appear again or at least I didn't think it was gonna like no I, might, I thought jokes on me for thinking I would have time to breathe you know time to react 
Uh, and the screen is frozen. All right, cool. No, no, that's fine. Um, Ah, shit. Fuck. Uh... I... Uh... I'm... There was literally nothing I could have done. Okay, um, especially because, like, the hitbox on those spikes must be, like, awful. No, you don't. Alright, let's take our time. You know, we're being chased by a fucking giant doggo, but... A giant skeleton doggo, no less, but, you know, that... It's fine, let's take our time. Let's take our goddamn time. There we go. See? Taking your time to always helps. Even when you're being chased by a giant skeleton doggo that wants to bite your head off. Dear lord. Is it is it gone, Rosa Marine? I suppose. What was that? That Wait, what was that... that thing anyhow? They're preparing for your arrival, it seems. That's... me? I've never seen him this eager, I must say. What in the Lord's name is going on here? You'll slip away if you don't hurry. I'll lose you. Wait, you'll slip away if I don't hurry, I'll lose you. What's wrong with you? I've had it. We're leaving this place. Acorn. A statue of me. Trying to lure you in, is he? Huh? Isn't this what you most desire? Glory, luxury, prestige? He's trying to show you that. Let's get out of here, Rosa Marina. Oh, and he's back. No. There wasn't... There wasn't anywhere to save, so I... So now I gotta do it again. How nice. Okay. I've actually managed to do this damage list well. Why can I not skip any of this? <sighs> Just shut up. Just shut up. Yeah, there isn't anywhere to save. There's not... There's not a place to, s to save. Okay, at least I can skip this. So you're telling me that I have to do all of this in one in one go. You're fucking with me. Um
Oh, I see. So you just need to hold forward here. Oh, it's a horse. I thought it was a dog. Come quick. You have to get up. I will lose you again, my beloved. If I don't hurry, you'll slip away. You're not Rosa Marine. Oh, what am I to do? I feel so confused. I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. That wasn't Rosa Marine either. Oh, what am I getting myself into? I'm so utterly alone. Let me guide you, Elisa. Rose and Marina. Uh. When did I get here? That dream I had about Rosa Marina. Rosa Marina. I have to find her. My eye. That wretched crow. I have to find Rosa Marina. Dr. Firefly 7. A tender flesh.
There we go. See, that's completed. No. What happens if you do have the wrong items in? Is it just me, or is it getting further and further away? Like, it's getting smaller. Maybe it is just me. Maybe I'm just on crack. It always look like this. Honestly, I don't know. Okay. Oh, what am I doing talking to a goat? Dumb bitch. Let fucker speak. completely lost your wits with all them, Marina? Last night in the woods. What were you thinking, saying... That wasn't... You weren't yourself, Rosa and Marina. What do you mean? Oh, don't give me that now. No, Elisa, I didn't even step foot in the woods. You were with me the entire time, Rosa and Marina. No, I wasn't. I couldn't follow you into the woods. The trees blocked my path. You went on ahead no matter how much I called for you and I... I did wait for you, but you never came back for me. If that wasn't Rosa Marine, then who in the Lord's name... Is everything alright, Elisa? You look a little... You can talk to me. You don't have to keep it all to yourself. I had a dream about you. It was... I saw you and your grandmother and... It felt like I was your... My path to finding you in Kieferberg. Bet you say. You still don't believe it, do you? Hard not to after last night. Oh, did you get it? Huh? Why the testament, Elisa? Yes, I... Those crows, they... I was offered a strand of my own hair and... Oh, Elisa, that's wonderful. All you need to do is prepare it. To be eaten. Eaten? Remember, these are the gifts you're giving him, Elisa. But it's... hair. It's a part of your immortal body, yes. Gifts for the host. Uh, food, drink, and a good company. Who do you say? The tender flesh needs to be food. You look tired, Elisa. Is everything alright? I feel like I'm losing my wits, Rosa Marina. Come now, let's set up to work. Everything's falling into place, Elisa. You'll see. Say, Elisa, I've been wondering about that room upstairs. Granny Hole's bedroom, what about it? Wouldn't, wouldn't you like me to clean it as well? There's no need. I don't go in there at all. All the more reasons to give it a good sleeping. I haven't been there since she passed, you see. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lisa. I didn't mean to... That's alright. In fact, I don't have... I don't even have the key anymore. I locked it up the day she passed and I don't know where I put it. I understand, Lisa. I wonder what happened to that key. Knowing myself, I may have thrown it off the peaks.
Something I'd say is worth wondering about, Bozo Marina. It's how Block Kid lost his eye. Wouldn't you say? Oh, I've always wondered about that. I suppose he must have gotten injured or... Could have been a branch or he might have fallen perhaps. He doesn't seem like, like he's in pain at least. Oh, how I wish I could talk to him. I have so many questions, such as... Why he followed me firstly. Your hat's made of hay, that's my best guess. And I'd ask him his name too. Isn't it Flocke? That's the... I was the one who thought of that. It's not really his name. He's a goat, Rosen Marina. Why, but he still has his own character, Elise. Elisa. We're done wondering about useless things, Rosen Marina. Oh, but it's so much fun, isn't it? Say, Rosen Marina, you know how to sue, don't you? Somewhat, yes. That explains it. I suppose. Explains what? Why the patches on your dress are so clumsy. We could ask Miss Marielle to help you. To help, you know? Oh, but I quite like my dress. That's alright. But I'd say you deserve better, better newer clothes is all. I don't need better, Elisa. This is my dress. It's been with me for years now. All these patches and tears mean something to me, you see? What does that moon-shaped one mean, then? Oh, this is from an old blanket of mine. It brings me comfort to have it with me wherever I go. And the squares? Granny patched it for me when I fell off a tree. I can't bring myself to part with it now that she's gone. Fine. You have your reasons. I appreciate the thought, Elisa. This is the Rosa Marina I know, there's no doubt. I don't know what to make of last night's Rosa Marina though. Hey, Froke. Oh, what am I doing talking to a goat? No, I want... I want to... Give Froke all the packs. Goats are like so adorable. In real life, like they are, they literally like. Now that I think about it, what if I use this key? Yeah, okay, it doesn't work. Hmm. But yeah, when you're around the goat, they will like rub their head on you and it's super adorable. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna BRB.